Hey y'all, it's Tracy with Mama's Comfort Cooking. And today um, we're gonna be working on potato salad. I'm gonna show you how I make my potato salad. Um, if you're ready to come on in, we can get started. I have some of the ingredients. Um, of course, I use eggs. I use plenty of eggs. This is about um, nine eggs. I use pimentos. Of course, my potatoes have been boiled and diced. My eggs have been peeled. I use sweet relish. I use mayonnaise. I use celery and I use onions. So what I want to do is get started showing y'all how I make this potato salad. Okay, y'all ready to make some potato salad? Hey, y'all. Hey, thank y'all so much for... Um, all the loving kindness that you shown yesterday. Yeah, we represent it. We fed that family by ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I thank y'all so much. Hey, Nicole Haynes. I'll tell my daughter her sorrow I said hello. Hey, Amen. Y'all ready to make some potato salad? Hey, Rosemary Turner, how you feeling? Hey, Janice Long from North from Myrtle Beach. Y'all, ah, that's my place to vacation. Hey, Trinice and... Hey, Paulette, Matt Dab, and um, hey, Ada. Hey, Stephanie Dispute. Y'all, let me show you what we're getting ready. Thank you for the stars already. So we're making potato salad, okay? So let me get you in on this because I, I really want you to see. Okay. I think that's pretty close. So these are my potatoes. Now what I've done is in this container I've used my food processor I have celery I have onions let me lift that up a little bit let me talk to you in this in this container right here I have celery I have onions I have uh, mayo ranch dressing um, I have celery seeds, sweet relish, and everything, and I use my processor. So this is my sauce, okay? So we're getting ready to put this into the potato salad. So let's turn it down, and that's the first step. And I do it step by step, okay? So that's the first step, is that I'm going to show you the sauce that I'm pouring in here, okay? So let me get the pouring. So I'm going to do a little at a time. And it tastes so good, y'all. I'm going to take the sauce and, and I'm going to work it through here. Really good. Next, I'm going to add some um, pimentos. I'm going to take it and drain it and put them in there so I don't have the water. If you don't like pimentos in your potato salad, don't put it in there. eggs out right here because I need them later. Next I'm going to add the eggs that I've already worked up. my hands all right 
And where is my parsley plates? All right. So I'm going to add a little more of my sauce in here. Are y'all with me? Can you see real good? All right. Let's add a little bit more in here. Moving out the way. You're going to get everything you want in this potato salad, but you won't have to crunch it. Now, let me tell you the next step. Y'all with me? So, let me show y'all something. Every time I make potato salad, I don't like runny potato salad. So, I always take potatoes... And mash me up some, like mashed potatoes. Yeah. Then I fold it in there and they become so thick. People dip in it. <laughs> they be like, who made this potato salad? It ain't running into my baked beans. So always mash you up some potatoes, okay? That's how you do that. So let me turn you back down so you can see. So remember, I made a sauce, okay? The sauce went into my food processor. And all the flakes and all the pretty stuff that you see in here, it was from my sauce that I created, okay? So let me, um, let me turn it back down for you, okay? Here we go. Let me get you in there. So now, even though that looks thick, that's not thick enough to me. You see, you want it thicker than that. Because it's going to congeal, or just say you were, you were serving it hot. So I always take mashed potato. I always take my potatoes and I boil extra potatoes and I mash them and I fold them into my potato salad and let it become even thicker. And y'all know this one be potato salad. Y'all know this paprika got to go in here? Y'all already know. But I take mine and I just fold it into it. Now, I don't use smoked or anything. If you if you come up with something fancy, uh, this is southern style potato salad. I don't, I don't smoke up nothing. Okay, so what I do now is I, I begin to start my garnish. Um, I'm going to take it out of this big bowl. And I'm going to put it in another bowl. And so when I put it in that bowl, we're going to go ahead and cut our eggs up. So I have the eggs sitting off to the side. So this is actually the bowl that I'm going to use. So I'm going to put everything in this bowl. Just like that. I use the big bowl to mix it real good. I'm just scraping my bowl, getting the very last part of it. So when I get ready to serve my potato salad, I'll be good to go. So now I'm going to take a knife. And those extra eggs, we're going to work with it. Y'all know how we do. Y'all done been to enough church homecomings to know you got to cut those eggs up on top. Y'all already know you do. have to cut it up there real good because everybody's gonna go for the pretty potato salad and you know how they do who made this potato salad right here oh that's sister Tracy's oh I want some okay and that's how we do it then I take parsley flakes and I shake them all over there, really pretty like that. And 
a shake. Just a little paprika on there. I dusted that time. Honey. <laughs> yeah, who wants some of this potato salad at the cookout? Uh, I do. What do y'all think about that? Hmm? What you think about that potato salad? And it's thick. It's not running. Mm -mm, it ain't going nowhere. It, it's going to go somewhere because everybody's going to eat it. But <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Okay? Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I wish you could taste it. Let me put that one out just a little bit. So what do y'all think? It's just that easy. So who wants me to tell them again what I did to make the sauce that went in this potato salad? So what I did in my food processor, I put mayonnaise, ranch dressing, sweet relish, celery, onions, celery seed, a little lemon juice, a tiny bit of sugar, and I put um and I put all purpose seasoning, onion, onion powder, and um garlic powder and I put it in the processor and I processed it to where you don't see any or crunch on anything you will not crunch on it but you'll taste all the goodness on the inside and celery seeds pour out flavor you wouldn't believe oh and I did add a little mustard but this is not mustard potato salad so I only added a little and when I finished that and got my sauce right I bought my potatoes, two sets, one set to mash and one set that was diced. And then I used pimentos in here and I worked it up. Um, also, I added a little crushed red pepper when I was doing my processing just to give it a tiny little kick. And that's your potato salad. It's just that easy. It's just that easy. Let me turn it up to see if I have any questions. Hey, do I have any questions? There's nothing wrong with my egg. It's not cooked too long. You can critique me all you want to, but I promise you, if you ate my potato salad, you'd like it. Secondly, what kind of eggs did you boil? For people that like to be so judgmental, that come on my live and think you can outcook me, I'd love to challenge you. But in the meantime, ask what kind of egg I cook. Is it a brown egg? An egg that can don't have to be refrigerated? Uh, my egg is good, and I don't want no egg that's runny in my potato salad. All right, thank you for your negativity. I'm bothered. <laughs> Unbothered? Are you unbothered? I'm unbothered. Thank you. Um, brown eggs are great eggs. Uh, they're great eggs to bake with, uh, great eggs to cook with. They can sit out longer than white eggs. Um, I was blessed by a girl that works with my husband named Jada. She gave me those eggs and honey and she sent me 31 eggs and I went through them between making my potato salad, Marshall's potato salad, and uh Bacon Marshall a cake, which took that a lot of eggs. Yeah, I I have really enjoyed these brown eggs. They are delicious. Uh, again, um, I, I use a processor because there is no need of everybody crunching. Everybody don't like onions. Okay, everybody don't like the flavor of onions and celery crunched. They don't mind it if it's in there. They just don't like it crunched. Um, my potatoes now, I use a fork and come and check my potatoes. And I also use a little salt while they're boiling so they don't be so bland. Um, just like potatoes don't take more than 10 or 15 minutes to be done. You don't want to overcook them or else they're going to turn into mush. So you want to have some texture to it. Because remember, you're going to cook some more to mash up to, to bring that thickness in there. And you never know anything till you try it. 
the ranch actually is a good flavor in potato salad. It's not, it's not overbearing, but it also helps with the mayonnaise, which is kind of eggy. Oh, honey, 10 pounds of potato salad. You have, a, have you seen my 20-pound bowl? When I made 20 pounds of potato salad at one time for banquets and stuff, child, I got a big bowl. This is this is for Easter. This ain't this ain't for the whole church. Yeah, I know some people want to be negative, but they watch they watching and they writing it down. Thank y'all for the stars. I don't worry about that. Let me tell you something. I want to make some quick announcements. Please share my video. Please go and like me on Instagram, YouTube, and um, TikTok. But about Mama Joyce, I'm going to her home going service. The family invited me to come. So I will be going and representing us at her homecoming. Her homecoming service is going to be, well, her home going service is going to be um, this Saturday. Mm-hmm this Saturday. So please continue to keep her family in your prayers. They were so happy to get all that food and we prayed. We sung songs. Um, I got to go in Mama Joy's kitchen <laughs> where all her magic was. I got to sit down with her beautiful husband and, and just to know that they spirit feel they believe like I believe. They're a Pentecostal family. Um, they believe the Bible from the beginning to the end. Um, remember what I told y'all. If I don't pay no attention to the comments. So just uh, if somebody is getting smart, right unbothered. They'll go away because if you resist the devil, he'll flee. So don't argue with them. Just right unbothered. I didn't come to change anybody's way of making potato salad, baby. This is my way. You watching me. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, again, right unbothered. Uh, I don't have a problem with anything. God has given me this uh, platform, and I'm going to use it to the best of my ability. And I'm going to grow with it. And I'm going to learn how to deal with the people that really are unhappy in their own homes. And they have to come in your home and bring negativity. Because the last time I checked, it said if you enter into a man's house, there's peace. You leave peace. And if you enter into a man's house, there is no peace. You get up and take your peace with you. So if I was having a bit a bad day, I would tell you to go on about your business and not watch me. So if you're having a bad day, please get out of my house. Because <laughs> we're going to have a good day. Amen. So I made potato salad for you all. I made it for Marshall and them yesterday. I thought I'd come on. I'm starting to cook up for my Sunday dinner. Um, um, I've got a lot. I've got greens going. I've got um, to do some sweet potatoes. I got the potato salad here. Some people don't eat potato salad. Some people eat sweet potatoes. Um, I got to fry corn, do the dressing, the macaroni and cheese. So I'm going to be cooking. Th am I glowing? Thank you. Thank you for the stars again. Hey, son. I love you, son. Yes, I do. I just got off the phone with you. <laughs> so the potato salad, like I say, and I'll take the rest of this and I'll freeze it. And I'll put it up and I'll use it for the next set of potato salad that I make. So it doesn't go to waste. This is in a freezer bag. So I won't do nothing but let the air out of it. And freeze it and I'll have it for the next set of potato salad that I might have to do I have a video of how I fry corn I have two videos of me frying corn on here I have videos of me cooking collard greens on here they're under my videos I don't know what oneness Pentecostal is, but hey, oneness Pentecostal here. Yeah, 
Well, you know, everybody cooks different. I'm not here to um change the way anybody cooks. And I think even it's in your delivery. If I'm showing you how I'm doing something, if you just come on here and say something as simple as, Miss Tracy, that looks good. I do mine a little different. I respect it. But when you come saying that's not how you do something or something, no, that's how I do it. That's how. It's so many ways people cook. I just showed you. And a lot of times when I, I don't know about y'all, but a lot of times when people bring potato salad, it tends to be runny. Sometimes that potato salad is just runny. I don't I don't know if y'all feel like that. And I often wonder that I know they use too much sauce, but I realize you can use the sauce you want if you feel like. And see, the reason why I make my potato salad early is because I want the flavors to set up in there. It's not a dead potato salad. If you saw this potato salad sitting on a table, you'd eat it. You'd come by and say, oh, that looks appealing. Give me some of that potato salad. So everybody cooks it different. I was just trying to show you all... Um, how to make your potato salad thick if you make it too runny. That's all. You don't have to do it. That's what I do. So I can, I'm guaranteed every time, and this is gonna go in the refrigerator, I'm gonna wrap it in foil. And every time I don't have to worry about nobody saying my potato salad was, um, was runny. But you don't have to do it, um, again, I turn the camera on because um, out of obedience that God told me to, um, it's not to change nobody. Uh, but remember, Mama Joyce's home uh, going service is going to be this Saturday. I will be attending. Um, I'll let y'all know how it went. I know it's going to be um, amazing. Um, pray for her family. It's really um, taking a toll on them to watch her suffer. And also, um, when God finally called her home over in that morning, I got a text from Marshall about five something that morning telling me that she was gone. But, you know, I'm never going to make an announcement that I think a family should make. Y'all, I was so tired last night. <laughs> I was tired. My body was hurting after cooking all that food. I couldn't go live because y'all know how we get in the kitchen and we go to work. Honey, this potato salad is good. I wish I could send everybody some. I wish I could send y'all a sample of everything that I'm going to spread. So here's my Sunday dinner. Ham, ribs, chicken, um, potato salad, sweet potatoes, macaroni and cheese, collard greens and green beans, uh, fried corn, uh, dressing, and uh, sliced tomatoes and onions and... I'm going to work up a dessert. I never tell them. Banana pudding uh, is going to be on the menu. It won't be a cooked banana pudding. Um, I got a lot of people coming. Family. Uh, my family are is uh, kind of... Uh, uh, how can I put it? I, I think everybody but me has had the shots. Both shots. So, yeah. And... Um, I didn't have the shots yet, nor my husband, but at the same time, we still have the antibodies. And uh, I I have my sisters coming. So I will have uh, um, Erica and Cheryl, Latrice and Tat, and then my nieces, Caitlin and Raven, and then my crew, the two live crew, Philip Kilby, Avery, and my husband. Uh, that is my Easter company, and I'm cooking for them. Uh, we always do it big. Philip called today and said, Mama, uh, make sure you start getting them eggs together uh, so we can hide them Easter eggs for Avery. He gonna want to find some. He worse than she is. Here you go. All the seasonings and spices. That's because I put them in a food processor. Get in there. You can see all those spices. All those herbs. Mm -hmm. Don't nobody want bland food. They can tell you, but they don't want it.
Yes, I'm tending rejoices, funeral. Rejoice. But I thank you all for backing me up yesterday, supporting me, sending love tokens, uh, appreciations, putting cards in the mail to them uh, at, at Marshall's um, P.O. Box, P.O. Box 531, Casper, Georgia, 30123. Um, he knows some of the people that have sent him stuff. I even had a couple of people locally that know me call me and say, um, Tracy, we want to send the family something just because you're connected. And you've uh, fed them and stuff. And let me tell y'all, um, it was an honor. Because I thought, oh, maybe I've cooked too much food. But when I got there, nobody, we had a bad rainy day. So nobody was there but them. And nobody had cooked, okay? The Lord works in mysterious ways. So we ended up feeding the family. We ended up cooking. Um, we were the only ones that cooked. Mm -hmm. And Marsha said, oh. I know why they having a fit over this cake. This cake is good. <laughs> yes, he did. We sung, I'll fly away, oh glory. And, and we prayed together. And to be absent in, in the body is to be present with the Lord. Because they told me she was ready to go. She was ready. She could shake her head and everything. She was ready. I don't send recipes. My video is the recipe. Listen, now I, can, I, can I be um, very transparent with you all? Um, some people send me stars and some people are in my supporter room. Some people cash out me. Some people mail me stuff in the mail. But some of y'all that asked me to do a whole lot of stuff, write recipes down after I've stood up and cooked and done it, you don't give me nothing. And even though I'm giving you something, it's still not good enough. I get inbox. You need to write your... No, I don't have to write it down. I don't have to. I'm demonstrating it for you. The video is the recipe. And if, that, if that's just not going to make y'all stick around then I'm sorry. You just have to find somebody that's going to do everything you want them to do because I still have to do a lot of stuff after this. I have to work. That's back there you see in this room. That's my office. So. Hey, I'm Sheila from, I couldn't get the whole name. Sheila Ashley from Carrollton, Georgia. My daughter went to West Georgia um, university. So I just wanted to come and show y'all um, what I um, the potato salad, and I guess I'll come back tomorrow and work on uh, some yams with y'all and some cornbread for the uh, for the dressing. Um, and that's about it. Uh, again, I, I sure do appreciate all y'all um, giving and supporting me. Honey, y'all make me look good, okay? Y'all made me look really good, and I appreciate that. Uh, let, me let me say something uh, to you all. This is Holy Week. Don't be surprised if somebody tests you. And don't be surprised if somebody come against you. There's been a lot of emotional things going on. One is losing Mama Joyce. The other is my friend's um, husband. Um, got a long road ahead of him. I met Ben burnt 90% of his body because he was doing electrical and somebody just messed up and turned it on and it blew him out. And then the electricity had to come out of somewhere. So it came out of his hand. So they had to amputate it. When I think about even if I'm having a bad day, when I think about that, I can't uh, feed into negativity. I have to be unbothered uh, off of petty stuff because I realize a lot of grown p people, because remember, my age group, they show me statistics. And my statistics show I reach around the age group of 35 and up. And if you're the, at the age of 35 and you're being childish and immature, I can only imagine how you're raising your children. 
we're this is a mature group this is not uh tiktok this is not instagram this is facebook facebook was originally designated to adults uh i remember when you were had to be a certain age to be able to get on facebook so if if i'm going to deal with people that have childish mentalities i'm not going i'm not going to deal with them um i'm going to be unbothered you know that's that's a given fact i'm i'm going to be unbothered on that um because it, it, tomorrow is not even certain of what uh what we were what we're gonna face plus remember i went through a tornado yeah all of this in this holy week uh i was on live with y'all this day last thursday and a tornado came through i don't have time for pettiness i i just don't i i'm gonna ask god to remove them far from me um uh, i don't care if my numbers drop i don't really care and I've got enough sense to know everybody's not going to be peaceful with you. But it's just some stuff that is just very childish. And I feel like if you're this childish and you're an adult, 35 and up, what kind of pettiness are you keeping in your home? Why is your family not together? Why are your seeds doing the things that they're doing? And I'm not talking to just everybody on here. Amen. No. There's some beautiful spirits on here. There's some beautiful, there's people fighting. Last night I was reading a comment where a man was telling me he had cancer. Somebody else was in stage four. People are not on here to play. There are other people you could be watching if you want childish stuff. You want to talk foolish. If you want to cut up all the time. That's just not, that's just not how I am. I love to laugh. I love to cut up. But there's a season for everything. And there's a time to be serious. And I'm I'm so unbothered. And I'm not, nobody is changing my topic. The point of what I'm trying to make is that find it not strange that we get tempted and tested in the Holy Week. And when I entered into Mama Joyce's house, y'all, the first thing I could think was when I walked to the door, I looked at her husband. I said, uh-huh, God surprised you, didn't he? He said he sure did. I said, mm hmm. You do know this is Holy Week, right? Do <laughs> you do know this is Holy Week? You do know she prayed up in this house. And wherever you build your altar, that's holy ground. Whatever you sacrifice and give to him. And her husband just started crying. He said, Oh my God. I said, Oh, it's Holy Week. It's Holy Week. What a week to take her in. Oh my God. That gave me joy and that gave me happiness and that gave me a real peace and that peace that passes understanding and we sat around and i stopped him i said look i might seem different than you you seem different than me we're gonna make a joy for noise everybody sing she would want us all to sing and we saw on i'll fly away oh glory and um we all got excited and caught up in the lord and her husband told me oh my god some powerful experiences that he had with the lord and what God did for him and how he used him and he prayed over his mom and God raised her up. And when you have experiences with the Lord, can't nobody tell you he is not real. He's very real and a very present help in the time of trouble. So I just want you to know that I'm not reading any comments right now um, because I wanted to make sure I was clear with what I was saying. I don't want to give no enemy no room because it's Holy Week. Holy Holy, holy, that's what it is. Holy, 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 hallelujah. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. So I, I know it's Holy Week. And I know that every day is holy. And I love y'all. Yes, I do. I am the cook. And you are my friends. You prove yourself to me. I just cannot, you know, I, I be trying to fight these tears back. These eyes get glassy. But the love y'all showed yesterday, last Sunday when you went to church with me. And such as I have, you know, I got a, a few negative comments about my church. But I don't worry about people that look at stuff to find stuff 
versus coming into God's house and giving up their offering and their sacrifice. But it meant so much just that y'all spent time with me. Because sometimes you think if I don't get in this kitchen and cook, they ain't going to watch. I'm not going to have a lot of people. But when I looked up, I had 1,600 people that hung in there with me. That made me feel pretty good. Because God is all the world to me. And that's a, that's a treasured moment. And you don't always let everybody come into that secret arena of your life. I refrigerate my potato salad. I don't freeze it. And the reason why I cook my potato salad three days before um, it's time for it to serve is because all the flavors you saw, they will have time to sit there and marinate. And then it tastes so good. And I didn't have to get a spoon and taste nothing because I'd already tasted my, my sauce before I mixed it. So um, that's why I do my potato salad early. That's out the way. And, and let me tell y'all something. You need to start prepping. Like I'm going to make my sauce for my macaroni and cheese and everything. You want to enjoy your day just like everybody else. When Easter service is over and you come home, you want to be able to sit down and eat a meal with your family and not feel so exhausted and tired. Um, and you can't enjoy it like everybody else. My greens are on the stove. They're finished. And I will refrigerate them. My, um, I'll cook, cut the cabbage and cook it to add into the greens, um, the day before. And, um, I'll cook the dressing on Saturday. And all I have to do is warm it up Sunday. And the macaroni and cheese, I'll have it all ready to go. And all I have to do is put it in the oven on Sunday. I do like to cook my macaroni that day. I like to cook my cornbread that day. And the meat is going on the grill on Saturday. Yeah, now I know y'all think I'm crazy, but this is the last time I'll make dressing until the fall comes. I don't make dressing in the summer. You know, we were just always taught that dressing can spoil. It can spoil on your stomach and it can spoil sitting out. And you can get sick, salmonella poisoning. So I don't fool with dressing in the summer. I don't fool with chitlins and pig feet and pigtails. I don't. I don't fool with all that in the hot seasons of the summer. Honey, I wish you, you want, y'all want to see my greens? I can get up off this sec, sec, sectional. My sec, sectional is huge in here. Let me show you this sectional I'm sitting on. Hold on. This is a big sectional. Do you hear me? I'm all the way on the other end. Now, Pamela Gibson, my mom and them, we did never make dressing in the summertime. Honey, my husband, is, he ready to grill too. Um, The meat I'm having is um, um, ribs and chicken and um, ham, three meats. Well, see, that's the whole thing. If dressing is going to spoil with onions in it, you know onions is what make the dressing good. So that's why we don't never cook it in the summertime. We just omit it till the fall comes. They say it just don't keep that good. I don't fool with chitlins. I don't fool with pig feet or pigtails. I don't do no none of that type of pork in the summertime.
And I can't explain it, y'all. That's just how I was raised. And I'm not going to take the onions out of my dressing. Because then that's the whole purpose of the, of the dressing. Um... I just don't make it. I don't want to give nobody no advice. Some people are saying remove the onions, but I don't want no dressing that don't have good flavor. I just don't cook it in the summertime. And it's okay because when, when I do get it in the fall and winter, it makes you appreciate it a little bit more. It's a time to relax and enjoy your family and think about what the Lord has done. So that's why we're going to, I'm, I, you know, I don't know, you know, I, I just have to pray about it. But um, I think I want y'all to, if y'all want to come, y'all can join us. I'll turn the camera on Sunday at church, but I do know when I get home, I'm going to show y'all um all the food and everything that we're going to eat and stuff like that. Nicole Baggett, I guess, yeah, it is too heavy, too. Yeah. Yes, I actually, I took Marshall them. If you go look yesterday, I fixed them some collard cabbage mixed. Thank you for the stars. I so appreciate them. Y'all, I was so tired. <laughs> All I could do was come home, get my bath, take me some pain pills. Um, and then guess what? My bedroom TV quit working. Ain't that like the day over? I didn't have no TV, but it didn't matter. I was so tired. I took my little pain medicine and I relaxed. Talked to a friend on the phone for a little while and I just went to sleep. I was like, Delva, you ain't going to spoil. What is it? You ain't going to ruin my day. Maybe I didn't need to watch no TV. I didn't get to watch TV all day yesterday. I don't have the TV to watch. It's okay. The Lord will make a way somehow. And beneath the cross, I bow. A brown, I'm having, um, again, I'm having macaroni and cheese, the potato salad I just made, chicken and dressing, Yams, fried corn, ham, ribs, chicken, green beans, collard greens, and cabbage mixed, green tomatoes, I mean, not green tomatoes, sliced tomatoes and onions, cornbread, um, um, banana pudding. My dessert, I'm trying to decide if I want to do a peach cobbler or apple pie. And then I think one of my sisters are going to do a strawberry shortcake. Yeah, the collards and cabbage I mix together. Thank you, Sunday Joy. I'm bothered. Whoever it is, we're unbothered. <laughs> yes, I'm frying the corn. It's okay. If I don't have the TV, I'm not worried about that. I was just telling y'all. Trust me, I work a job. <laughs> I'm a realtor, honey. I go get me a TV. Don't worry about that. It's just that when I got home, I wasn't aware that it had quit working, that the picture tube was gone. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Listen, the Lord works in mysterious ways. Y'all see them bags ain't under my eyes, don't you? Y'all see how bad them bags was under my eyes yesterday? I got me some rest. I'm good. Oh no, I don't I don't <laughs> I'm not coming to, I'm not coming to uh all the way there to get a TV. Listen, I cook for everybody. I represented y'all and y'all helped me. And so I'm all right. I guess I didn't need the TV anyway. Is that all right? I didn't need it anyway. That's how I see about things. I'm unbothered. Um, I I don't let stuff get to me like that. Now, when I was younger, I did. Oh, honey, I'd be so all told pieces that my TV had towed up. 
But today, I'm more so like, get it out of him. Take it to the dump. I'm unbothered. I make a sock attach, but I don't use llama beans with mine. I use um, white beans with my sock attach and corn. I made one on here. And it had collard greens and everything in it. It was really good. Oh, yeah, I do peach cobbler all the time. That's why I was saying Janice Jones. I was trying to decide if I was going to do an apple pie or a peach cobbler. Hey, Brenda uh, Sanders, thank you so much. I was looking at something you sent me earlier. And somebody made me the beautiful um, mittens um, crocheted. What are y'all having since I'm reading your comments? What are y'all having for Easter? And I appreciate the stars so much. I did find out the stars, like I told y'all, turn into money. So they're like, if you send me 50 stars, that's 50 cents because it's pennies. So that's how they go. Brenda uh, Sanders, you've been kind to me. And may God return it a hundredfold. You hear me? Sometimes I get stuff in the mail. It just makes my day. I can't sing. I'm full. I'm emotional. Y'all. <laughs> I wish y'all could have seen Mama's Joyce's little cute kitchen. Just the cutest little kitchen. Her house sits back. Her house is like a log cabin with a porch and sit back nestled in the woods. Cozy little house. And you could just feel the sweet sweetness of everybody in there and that she raised her kids to love everybody. And the funeral home that she's at is about two miles to from my house. Just know she in there. I just like she in there. On my way home, I had to pass it, and I was like, she in there. I had to go and get a tire put on my car. It was 200 and something dollars. I never heard of this, but they said I had big tires. And they said, I, I drive an Enclave. And they said my tires was 255 by 55 by 20. So I had to pay 200 and something dollars. But Walmart did me right. They ordered it for me and told me to come. And they, it took about an hour. Uh, so who couldn't hang around Walmart in an hour, right? <laughs> Yeah, you're going to buy something else, but that's what I did. Oh, no, Fanny Townsend. I'm not sad because of people saying something here. It's just so much just happened this week. Losing Mama Joyce and my friend's husband. And sometimes you, that's why you have to... Keep busy so that you don't think on everything. What you say, baby? Sandra? I can't say your last name. Trace, I love those pot belly pots you have so much. I ordered me to. Oh, did you? They're good. I hope you enjoy it. Maybe I'll give out another one. Um, I've got to bake some cakes, too. Um, I got so much to do. I would have y'all on live two or three times a day. And I'm not going to do that. So I just don't turn it on. Uh, I've got to go in here now and do a coconut cake. Yes, I do. i got to make a coconut cake. I'm giving it to somebody for their birthday. And, um, yeah, i got to do some baking. Boy, I was so glad. Oh, Big Mama Heavenly Pound Cake went over Mama Joyce's house. She made it to Mama's Joyce's house. I was so happy. <laughs> You're right, Karen Blake. I know to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. I just said she's in there. I know spiritually about everything. 
I know that we, when after death comes judgment. Mm -hmm. I do know that. But just naturally knowing that she was just over there. I know her spirit and her soul went to the Lord, back to the maker. That's why they separate. That's called death. It still doesn't change the fact, the human fact. Ooh, Gio Roberts, girl, you finna show out. Girl, honey, honey. Yeah, I'm finna bake a coconut cake. So, he ain't watching, I'll tell y'all. It's my brother-in-law. He had a birthday last weekend. And so, my sister is coming up to spend some time with me. She lives in Atlanta. I ain't living in the city. She's spending the weekend, and I'm going to send back a cake. And his favorite cake is coconut. So I'm going to make him a coconut cake and send it back with her. And uh, so he can uh, call me and say, thank you, sister-in-law. He don't never say my name. It's hey, sister-in-law. Oh, uh, Shay, uh, Shay, Jimmy Alexander, Popeye, Popeye's. She and I, that's my sister, honey. Yes, I've tried her stuff and it's good. I've cooked with it and I've called her out. Um, I, I haven't been giving her a shout out here lately, Jimette, because one is that uh, her hands has been full. She has her page and she and I talked, uh, but her stuff is absolutely wonderful. I put it on here. A lot of people order off of here. Oh, absolutely, honey. Absolutely. Absolutely. I talked to Jimette on the phone. Uh day before yesterday. Thank you for the stars. Is that anything? Is there anything else? Uh I don't want to tell to wear y'all out. So let's do a recap with that potato salad. In a food processor, and you can buy a cheap food processor. Even sometimes at Walmart, they have a small one. You may not can put as much as I did. And it depends on how much potato salad you're going to make. I can't read long posts. I have to read it later. Somebody asked for my information. I'm going to pin it at the bottom. Uh, give me a second to write it. Honey, Jimmy, Alexander, girl, she already know your stuff is good. Uh, um, hold on, I'm writing my address down. Hold on, y'all. Let me finish typing this stuff up. My ad man will be on in a minute. <sighs> All right. I think I got everything. Where did it go? I'm gonna pin it. Hold on. Okay, my information is pinned below. Yeah, I did show you Ivy Key. Uh, in the beginning, we made potato salad. So what I did was I do a recap, but go back and watch it later. Right replay, okay? But I've already made it, but I put um, in a food processor, I put sweet relish, I put uh, ranch, I put mayonnaise, I put celery, I put onions, uh, celery seeds, uh, all-purpose uh, onion powder, uh, garlic powder, a little lemon juice, uh, a little um, crushed peppers, and I processed it with a little sugar tasted it and everything the flavor was there just like i needed it i'm used to it i believe that people don't want to crunch onions but they want the flavor of everything and so I, once i got my flavor I, I added a little mustard in there too when i got it just like i wanted it i bagged it up refrigerated it overnight and so today I diced up to my potatoes and everything but now i also take about four good sized potatoes and i'll Boil them separate and I mash them like mashed potatoes. Yeah, those are my binders. And then I put um, eggs, 
uh, I cooked about nine eggs and six of them went in a potato salad and the other three I cut on top and I put pimentos in there and I put the pimentos in there and uh, I worked it all up together. I sprinkled some parsley um, uh, on there. Oh, and also when I'm in my processing part, I did have chives in my processing part too. And then I put um, parsley flakes and paprika on top. And I'm going to refrigerate it. And by the time Sunday comes, the flavor will just come up. And so the rest of the week, you'll see some grilling. Um, I've got a, when I get off of here, I'm going to do a coconut cake. Because I know y'all don't want to watch all that. And I'm going to... Uh, I've got to do sweet potatoes and I've got, um, to make cornbread for the dressing. We're not going to talk about, um, uh, Mr. Trump on here. Baby, we're not doing no politics, uh, Tony uh, Osborne. Um, I don't want to, I don't, everybody has faith in who they have faith in. I don't want to deal with that. That's not even necessary to come on here and start that mess. Um, that's just not necessary. Please don't, uh, unbother. We're unbothered, okay? He's not the president anymore, so we're unbothered. Yes, Jennifer Grimble, thank you. Oh, Ivy Key, please go and watch it. And if you have any uh thing to ask me, just hit me in the inbox. Yeah, I don't want the political stuff over here. I'm sick of it. We're dealing with stuff right now in Georgia. We're I mean we're dealing with voter suppression, but I'm not gonna go into detail so i don't i don't want that unbothered when it comes to the political y'all hit unbothered we're going to be unbothered <laughs> we're unbothered we're not going there yes in dressing some people use sage um and poultry yeah, they use they use they use the allspice seasonings and all that. For those that don't like the flavor of sage, some people don't like the flavor of sage. Now, I grew up with sage in my dressing. I'm bothered. That's just somebody coming to be messy. Some people come on here try to offend other people. People have a right to to vote for who they want to. They got a right to, to what God they want to serve. They got a right uh, to freedom of speech. You can speak what you want to. Your words are free, but how you use them may cost you. And I don't want to offend nobody on here. You can use celery seeds and all that in your in your dressing if you want to. Yeah, but some people don't like the flavor of sage, and that's why they go a different way. And one time when I said that, somebody was like, well, if you say allspice ain't sage in it, yeah, but it's not dominant in there. Some some people don't mind you using it. They just don't want to taste it as a dominant and the only flavor. So they use poultry seasoning. They use sage. They use different things to, to counteract because they don't like it. You know, I don't like the flavor of rosemary that much. I don't because it's so powerful. Some people like pep, uh, peppercorn. I don't, but that don't mean that they don't, that it's not good for what they're cooking.
Oh yeah, sage. Most dressings have sage. Now in my in my dressing, I use rubbed sage. Rubbed sage. It's two different types of sage. And I, I Wendy Parker, I have heard some people say that they put sausage in their say in their dressing. Uh, yeah, and just just like some people make oyster dressing, uh, seafood dressing. Um, and a seafood dressing has a combination of meats in there. Um, seafood meat. It's not just one. So, uh, it's, it's like a lot of people, Florida, Florida people, uh, Floridians, they, they, they eat seafood and oyster dressing and I've had it and it's, it's a different taste, but it's still good. Uh, Rachel Ray, <laughs> I keep, when you, when your name comes across, I think about my cookware now, the blue cookware I use is Rachel Ray, Ray. Right now, I'm just on my, um, note 10.5. That's it. Well, you know, if you don't grow up in certain areas, you, you know, like, We'll make Brunswick stew, but we don't make a lot of gumbo where I live. Yeah, that's why I said seafood dressing is more like Floridians. They do that a lot. Like they eat conch. Uh, I don't. I don't like conch, but I didn't grow up eating it. Oh, yes, it's cool enough for dressing. Uh, here, it's cold outside with all that rain and that wind. So it won't be bad. I think the high we might get is 60 something degrees. And after Easter, I'm not making no more. I've never had squash dressing. I've had, squ we do squash ca casserole. Thank you for the stars. My goal is to get 10,000 stars when I come on. But if I don't get it, I, I'm unbothered. Like, honestly, I, I, I'm just unbothered. Now, my dressing some of y'all don't use nothing but cornbread, but where I'm from, we move, we use more than cornbread in our dressing. We use three types of breads, the cornbread, we use biscuits, and we use what I call light bread. Y'all call it loaf of bread, but I'm a southerner, so I say light bread, and um, celery, and onions. Now, I don't put bell pepper in my dressing. But bell pepper is still good in dressing. One thing about bell pepper, though, you have to watch bell pepper in dressing. Bell pepper can make your dressing go bad fast, too. Because bell peppers go bad fast, if y'all ever noticed that. And unless I'm going to serve potato salad, like, the very next day, I will not put bell pepper in my potato salad. Because it will make it go bad. I'm telling y'all what I know. Bell peppers won't even last in your refrigerator but a few days. Uh huh. You you mess around if you want to, and whatever you do, if you do put bell peppers in your dressing, and you think you can leave that dressing sitting out on top of that um stove overnight covered, baby, you better be careful doing that. Your stomach could get messed up really bad. Yeah, if now I, I put onions in mine, but I refrigerate it. I don't leave it out because them onions go bad fast too. That's why I buy my onions already chopped up or I'll take a bag over in produce and go get me a bag of them and go take it back there and ask them how much they charge me to chop them for me because um, them onions go bad on you.
Oh, thank you. I couldn't have done yesterday without y'all. But I learned something. Did y'all know that honey baked hams was that high? I was dumbfounded when they told me 102 or something like that for that ham, half a ham. But I wanted them to have the best. Yeah, I have a video on here for dressing. No, bell peppers don't last. You can use them. I'm not telling you not to use them. I'm just trying to tell you if you do use them in your potato salad or if you use them. Like my potato salad finna sit uh, for three days. It'll be just fine. It's going to be in the refrigerator. But if I would have put bell pepper in there, I couldn't have made it until the day before. Janice Martin, what you say? <laughs> Janice Martin gone, so. <laughs> Girl. Oh, no, uh, Sister Wright, I was on live. They saw how much that ham was. That ham was $102. I saw... They saw them ring it up for me. They can tell you I am not kidding. <laughs> I was like, I could have went to the store and bought two hams. Marshall said, I was watching you. And uh, I said, oh, whoo, we that's high. Well, I bought it, Janice Moore. <laughs> I wanted to bless them. And y'all helped me, you know, those that donated, y'all helped. You, it, it requires money for ministry and God is good. And it comes back a hundredfold. Believe me, God going to bless me some kind of way. He always does. Y'all can believe that. So I'm going to the funeral on Saturday. I don't know how bad my eyes, my eyes tell the story when I'm tired, when I'm sad. I don't know what I'm going to look like if I come live Saturday and show y'all some grilling or something. I may just have to leave my phone with my sister and let her video the live because I might just be messed up. Who, Janice Martin, you the usher? You ain't going with me to get me out the flow? Now, I can tell y'all, white people do good at funerals. Black people don't. They wipe their eyes and you know. But we got to go in. <laughs> oh, no, Jesus, no. Y'all pray for me here. Because <laughs> you know, we, 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 we a little harder. Hey, Rita Nations Jackson, baby, how you doing? Janice Martin, uh, you head usher. You supposed to go with me. Uh, Rosemary Turner, where you at? Black folk go in. Uh, Michelle Kelly, white people be like, <laughs> they cry. Don't get me wrong. They you. <laughs> oh. No. Ah! They be like, she ain't even kidding to us. Who this black? Who that black lady hollering back there like that? Oh, ah, don't go! Oh, you know. One time, me and my sister went to one of our family members' funeral. I mean, like, close, close, close to me. I thought my sister was having, like, a meltdown. I was like, dang. I didn't even know she liked her that much. She was just crying so hard. I thought, my sister got a tickle bone. Because she saw one of the guys walking in and he had a perm. And his hair was straighter than hers. And when she seen it, she said all she could do was just, <laughs> something came over. She couldn't quit laughing. So I was rubbing her back like, it's all right, sister. It's all right. And she was like, <laughs> <laughs> I said, it's all right, sister. And I leaned in her ear. I said, 
I didn't know you liked her that much. And she looked at me. She said, shut up before you get me beat up. I'm laughing. And I was like, okay, I better play it off because both of us would have got beat up with this family. This the rough side of the family. <laughs> so she turned her tears. She was crying like this. She was laughing, but she did it like this. She said, <laughs> well, see, it worked because black people crack up like that, right? So I had to go along with it because I got to get out the funeral, right? I got to get out too. So I go, <laughs> I was really trying to clear my throat when I realized what she was doing. I didn't want to get beat up. You know how you can have some first cousins that can fight better than y'all? fight better than you can but they'll beat you up still even though you can too <laughs> and i calmed it down and it come i told her you need to calm down now you his hair longer than yours and his perm is straighter you need to calm down because we're gonna get beat up now pull it together she said okay and i i gave a little tissue because we always take tissue to church y'all know that she held it like that till she calmed down. Uh, Mother Dunbar, uh, I was like, okay, calm down. Because I was thinking at first, I said, like, oh, she just crying so hard. I said, what's wrong? I didn't know you liked her that much. And she was like, girl, this boy done walked up in this funeral. His hair longer than mine. And his perm looked better than mine. And it was touching down past his shoulders. <laughs> I told my sister, I said, uh, y'all better, y'all better, uh, you better fake it and twist it. You know, and people reaching over your shoulder. And I looked at him and said, I got some Kleenex. It's okay. I got some. It's all right. She pulled herself together. I said, you better. Child, uh-uh. Gonna get us beat up. And you know, this one comedian said, black folk, they crack up because they don't have the best insurance policies. They be mad and sad. Like, why she dying? I got to foot this bill. And then they still mad because everybody that was supposed to show up at the funeral home table to sign didn't sign. Then you always being a responsible one had to sign. So you be in there mad and sad. <laughs> I remember when my grandmama died, my cousin act like she wanted to pull her out the casket. I told the funeral home director, listen, I need to talk to you about my family. Okay, there are different sides of my family. This side of the family would beat your butt and mine. They don't even care if you did the body. So put my grandmama behind the altar. <laughs> they going to pull her out, but they ain't help pay for no funeral. So the funeral gets started. We all walking in. Little small church, y'all know. And she in her Church of God and Christ uh, mother's uh, uniform, white, with the little white hat. And the white gloves, you know, Kojic style funeral. Casket, uh, gonna say it, white, uh, mother, uh, Pearl Johnson, wrote in now. So it's on that thing and everything. Y'all know how, Koj you know how you, you do it for the mothers. <laughs> oh, here it come. First set of family do good, they walk in good. Second set of cousins, they walk in. My, my line and the others, we a little dignified. Oh, oh, tick tock, tick tock. Here come the soldiers. Here they come. <laughs> Wouldn't help on the flowers. Won't give on nothing. It's always the ones that got guilt show out the worst. I looked at the funeral home di director. She bucked her eyes like, I'm not prepared. She put my mama, my grandmama behind that uh, 
also. They came after girl. They trying to pull mother out there. <laughs> so I had to step up. My man now, you know, with the muscles, he was ready if he had to be. The other ones, we didn't want to beat them. We didn't want to fight with them. They're going to beat us up anyway, but we ain't scared of them. We would have fought them. They just would have beat us up. Uh, so I stand up and said, uh-uh. Uh-uh. And she, she one of them took off running up there. I said, uh-uh. 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 That's how I kept saying it. Uh-uh. But the magic word I have to say is, I'm calling the police. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my family members have had, we've had to have the police at the funeral. Because we already knew what would be going down. Honey. Yo. My kinfolk, uh, you better have the <laughs> police, the local police, because you know they already come to drive you to the graveyard and everything, turn the sirens on and stuff. But when you have to call and tell them, look, uh, this ain't going to be no good funeral because this side ain't speaking to this side. Yeah, and this side mad because this side getting a grandmama house and they ain't getting it. And can y'all have some? <laughs> Can y'all have the police please uh, escort us as well as uh, have uh, some police on the outside of the funeral, if you don't mind? It would be so greatly appreciated. I mean, we can guarantee you at least one or two arrests. <laughs> Child, their funeral home woman was like, oh my God. I was like, here they come. They marching up Zion, hollering and crying so hard. I was like, <laughs> yeah, they coming. Didn't I tell you where to put them? Now you see why. And she was like, we started not to put her back there. But we so glad we did. We so glad. <laughs> we so glad we did. I was like, yeah. Because you're going to have to beat them up. And it be rough fights too. It don't be no easy fight with them. No more. See, we German shepherds, but they rock wilders. Honey. They fight each other like they ain't brothers and sisters. And with body slam, and the women can get body slammed and bounce up by a man like it ain't nothing. They be like, I bounce back every time my brother knocks me down. They whoop him. Honey. Honey. <laughs> I promise you. I ain't the only one got family members like that. Because, you know, you wasn't allowed to kind of play with them that much because they was bad. Yeah. You be like. And they bounce back. That's what we call bad house women. <laughs> Brenda, Brenda Sanders, you know, flat line. Them bad house women. They bounce back. I'm too old for it now, but back then I was younger. I told her, I said, uh, you better get y'all some help. Y'all about to enter into the twilight zone. <laughs> Y'all dealing with country bad house people. Who? You don't believe me? Scare you to death. It's some in every family. It really is. And, 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 and it can get turned up. You know? Then they, I hate the, I hate the family members that get the talking in the funeral. Uh, you, they mad, and so they trying to do stuff, and all you hearing is they could have told somebody she was sick like that. Man, I tell, and you be like, you be trying to figure out who said it. You be looking around. Yeah, I said it. I know. Yeah, I'm saying it loud for everybody. Nobody didn't know she was sick like that. Could have told somebody, and you, you just have to be quiet. Like, don't get up and say nothing. No, don't. Don't say nothing. It's going to get worse. Don't go over there. Don't touch him. Then when the usher go over there anyway, they be like, don't touch me. Don't put your hand on me. Don't put your hand on me. I'm good. I'm good. And they was like, and the preacher's like, if you don't come down, we're going to have to ask you to leave. You ain't, a, this ain't your church. This God church. And you be like, oh.
And they'll start. They'll start talking loud. And then, don't get back before they get back from the graveyard. Because you know it's going to take them a while to leave the graveyard. They want to throw every rose. And don't act like they can't have one. They're already mad if you get there before they get there and you get all the seats. They don't sit out but 12. Oh, they get the seats too? They get to sit by the casket too? You be turning around. Come on, Leroy, you want this seat? Nah, you good because you're the only one on that side I like. <laughs> but don't think I still won't get no whooping. They just picking at the other one they don't like more than me. <laughs> they probably not say, who bossing everything? Oh, she always bossing everything. Yeah, it did turn around. I'd be like, okay. And then uh, everybody start getting up, you know, like, y'all come on. Y'all can have these. No, nah, we straight though. For real though. Why you want to give us the seat though? Why you want to give us the seat to the to, to to being put in the ground? You didn't call us when she was that sick though. You didn't ask us what color we want the casket. <laughs> I ain't finna tell all my business on here. Okay. But it's a lot of chicks that should have been got in my family. <laughs> then you get back at the repast. Everybody coming back. Now, they always fix the funeral home director, everybody food to go plates. And then they'll tell the head table, the family, to sit down. Well, when it's a big family, they kind of want, want some of y'all to get in the line. Uh, why it's only that many uh, tables? They got 15 chairs at the head table for grandmama. She don't have no husband. Her children sit there first with they husbands. You a grandchild. You don't get to sit there. Get in line like the rest of us. And fix your plate. Then they eat. Laughing loud. Like they just wasn't at no funeral. And want to go plates. How y'all doing? <laughs> How y'all doing? Then you tell them, uh, we all grandkids is going to wear navy. Yeah, we wearing navy in this color. Or we going to all be in white and we want all the boys. And then I ain't got that. Y'all going to buy my clothes? Y'all going to buy me a suit? I ain't wearing no suit. I don't got no suit. I ain't. You buy it if you want me to have it. And then they start lining you up. Why they going first? Why they going first? Because they paying? That's our grandmama. Why they going first? She lining us up according to our height. I gets out the line, honey. <laughs> Go ahead. Get on my spot. It don't matter. Then when the state done showed out and gave everybody the show. The week or so later after they done... Cussed everybody out. Uh, yo, uh, Trace. Hey, I don't want to tell you, you did a good job bearing grandmama. Like, for sure, for real, though. You know what I'm saying? I might have, quite, like, been in my feelings that day and stuff. Like, you know, but on the real deal, like, hey, hey, you did a good job, girl. You know what I'm saying? So, I ain't, I ain't no fat heifer no more. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused, y'all. Uh, uh, you don't want to slap me today. Can I really come in your yard? You ain't going to sick your dog on me. <laughs> I bet you bring your tail up in this yard. I'm going to release my dogs and bite you, your big old fat tail. I did okay. So, you know, seeing that I would get beat up anyway, I go along with it and say, thank you. You know, that's just hard on all of us. So, you have to act. You know, you have to go into your acting. Because either you're going to get beat up or you're going to go into your acting. You be like, Leroy, that was hard on all of us. Mm -hmm. I don't care what nobody say. 
It was a lot of stuff, Leroy. That's what I'm talking about, cool. That's what I'm talking about, cool. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm like. Yeah, I finna eat to my car. Yeah, it was a lot, Leroy. I ain't gonna lie. It was a lot, man. I had a lot of stuff going through my head. Cuz, up him, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Cuz, if you only knew. And I'd be like, <laughs> get on out. Hurry up, Tracy. You're running your mouth too much. But you straight, Leroy? Because, hey, before I get in my car and get on up out of him, take this little drive. You straight? I mean, we got to quit meeting up like this at this funeral. I feel you, cuz. That's what I'm talking about. When I come through, I'm come holler at you and stuff. I'm come visit you and stuff. And if I got you, no, know, cuz. And everything, you know. Cuz, you got a 20. Okay, see y'all. Next time. Yeah. I wish you would grow up. You don't mess with them country people. Them back of the woods country. You know, they don't never quit fight. They don't never get tired. You be like, time out. Time out. Let me catch my breath. No, I can't catch you. You can catch no breath. You catching these hands. <laughs> Child, you, you just let them have all the leftover food and let them carry it off and and you leave them alone and Child, I had I remember <laughs> I remember at one funeral I was coming out of the bathroom and I said, Where are you going to one of my cousins? She said, I'm over this. That's your brother. It, I'm over this. <laughs> Child, I went and took my seat. I'm done. I am not finna wrestle with nobody. You over it. I'm gonna go sit down till it's over. And that's 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 that. That's that, son. So I think I'll be good Saturday. The moral of the story is I'm gonna do my best to act right. Oh, honey, boondockers. Is what they are. Bad house women is what we call them. That's women that can fight just like a man. You knock them down and they bounce back. And you be like, how did that not knock her out of her senses? And she come back for more. Or they pick you up and slam you down on the car. Uh, I done seen it with my own eyes. How in the world did they bounce back and want more? And then after the fight is over. They say, get in the car, come on, got to go home to the same place. Brothers and sisters. But bet nobody else mess with them. They'll beat you down like that. <laughs> they'll, they'll turn you into a pillow of salt for real. Uh, Y'all don't worry about uh Milam. He's going to be um blocked. Uh, don't give nobody no money or anything. Jen, uh, Jeanette uh, Roberts, girl, I ain't playing. If you think an Irish funeral is, come on over. Uh, how you say your name? Magella uh, O'Neill, come on to one of mine. You thank God for an Irish. Mommy, John died at school yesterday. yesterday. Who? Mr. Raymond, that's always in the Who? Mr. Raymond, that's always in the He died. He died yesterday. Oh. And all the teachers in the one him. That's what I thought. What was wrong with him? I'm sorry to hear that. Well, we heard it off the announcements. We uh, didn't do the pledge. Oh, man. I'm sorry, baby girl. And, and we, we, a lot of teachers were crying. Yeah. Don't pull that. They made by a new couch. I know. Jimmy and Alexander, I'm telling the truth. I, I, I just need to let y'all know. I'm not going to never take y'all to one out there. Huh? The Kona ice was actually good. Where the Kona it? ice was Come for here. our recess. Come sit down. Tell them, hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, lay back. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't lay back. Yeah. Okay, I'm be good. I'm yeah. be good. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> See, you lost my earring.
Okay, I did. It's a little dark next year, though. They said, hey, Avery. Hey. Hey. Thank you. I got to arch my eyebrows again. I'm letting them get thick. Um, they were thin. Now I'm changing them. So they have to grow out. I just go through that transition and then I change them up to a thick eyebrow for the summertime. I just switch it up. That's all. Avery said somebody in a man that's in their um, lunchroom all the time passed away. And she said they didn't do the pledge today. Instead, they announced him passing. And she said the teachers were crying. And I told her, I'm sorry to hear that, baby. Did they say what happened? And she said, no, ma'am, they didn't say what happened. Thank you, Karen. Uh, um, Robin, Robin, Robinette. They appreciated our kind act too. Let me tell y'all something. Mama's Comfort Cooking and friends, y'all showed out. That family was grateful. You just don't have no idea. Uh, Mama Joyce's husband started crying. Marshall cried. Time we, I hit the door. They uncovered everything. And Marshall said, you come into Mama's kitchen and you take a picture. This is where all the magic happens. This is where I film her. This is where it begins. And she's got all these pretty blooms in her yard. She's got some beautiful trees and rocking chair front porch. And it's like a cabin. It's beautiful. And her husband loves clocks. He keeps the time. He got all kind of clocks. And she had her, she has Christ in her house. And she has um like all kind of little, look like she had some um grape vines and different type of uh stuff in her yard and stuff and so you can just tell she even had a pretty wooden uh, place set in the backyard where the grandkids you know you can tell that her life was catered around her family and it was hard on them but at the same time they know where she is and that gives them sweet release it's holy week uh robin strangler it's holy week and what a week to go in yeah and y'all were great. <clears throat> y'all gave me financial blessings. I appreciate that. They aided me. Um, my body was sore. But we live we live another day to do it again. And anytime you cook for a lot of people and stuff, you're going to get sore. Uh, before my back injury, honey, I could turn a kitchen around at the church and be ready for them to go. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. If you think I can move now, y'all ought to see how I moved before my injury. Thank you, Jordan, um, James. It is it's okay. I wanted to. And and they loved everything. They appreciated everything. The cornbread was still hot because I took it straight out the oven. And they did. They were grateful with gratitude. Marsha said. <laughs> We got to eating up food. We about ate up everything last night. That made me feel good. And he loved that heavenly pound cake. He said, I don't blame you for not giving this recipe out. God gave it to you. Keep it. Okay. If you're done with the conversation with me, um, I can't say your name. Um, unbothered. Uh, whatever your name is. I don't know what what your what your name is <laughs> okay see you baby girl uh linda lot i had um three businesses going at one time i had a furniture store called finders keepers a hair salon called new trends and i sold real estate and what injured my back was my hair salon. I had the largest clientele in this city. I did men and women. I clipper cut. 
I layered, I put wigs in, I, I made wigs, and um, I just had so much um, heads to do to one day I put my feet out the bed to get ready to start another day. I always, on Easter, I started doing how about six in the morning, Easter weekend, and I would always finish about 12 o'clock that night. The, almost the next day. And I would bring my little girls, you know, to get do their hair and just all I gotta do is fix it up and stuff the next day. Well, I put my feet out of the bed and I knew I was having some problems. I was just like, oh y'all give me a minute. I need a break. Let me get something to drink. And <clears throat> when I put my feet out, out of the bed, my two discs just slipped. My four and my five. And now I got a four, five, and one. And then in 219, they were going in to do some procedures and they put the injection in my veins too fast, which caused them to almost collapse, which caused sciatica nerve damage. Because now the discs are sitting on my um, nerve. Very painful. My potato salad isn't Cajun. I just put a little, uh, I just put a little, uh, red pepper in, uh, mine. It's not Cajun, though, uh, Deborah Adams. And so, since then, I've had three MRIs. And I've had. Five back procedures. And in 2020, what you doing out here? Oh, Come what see. you doing? I'm just talking on my lap. You still on that lap? Bye. <laughs> y'all know who that is, don't you? <laughs> Bye, y'all got to go. Come on, shot. <laughs> he said he about shot somebody. <laughs> huh? <sighs> hey y'all, it's Sun. <laughs> hey y'all. Hey, hey, how y'all doing? Hey y'all. Hey Ashley. Hey Jamet. Hey y'all. Sun in the building. <laughs> oh God. It's Sun, Sun. Hey, did somebody say hey, baby daddy? Uh uh. <laughs> I'm just laying. I'm just starting stuff. <laughs> Hey y'all! How many baby daddies? Hey y'all! Who, who the day you had a baby man? I will. I'll if y'all want a baby, I can pay my child support. Uh-uh. <laughs> Fifty dollars for everybody. Uh-uh. <laughs> hey y'all! Hey hey y'all! How you been doing? Since she ain't been filled with no holy ghost. <laughs> Ooh, you going live again, Philip. Miss Ashley, um, I plan on going live this week, but it's crazy. But I I'll talk to y'all on my Yeah, I am stressed, but um And you don't handle we'll stress well, but you gonna We gonna we gonna talk about it on my stuff. I'm not but I just came over. Mom and Daddy calling me for stuff and they know how tired I, I be. But son. you know what? They not right. Hey, Rosemary. He must have called you for me, cause uh, you, you only move. But with it's money. fine. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> y'all looking at my teeth again. Y'all, these dentures. Put us together, son. <laughs> these Do we dentures. look alike? These dentures. I got on the toboggan because, y'all, it's cold outside. I told him it was cold. It's cold out here. Tell him how when we be sitting at the restaurant and a woman walk by, you be like, she have your baby, it's don't you? It's cold. You can't go without. You got kids me. everywhere, don't you? <laughs> it's so cold. You can't go without no panties or bra. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got the uh-uh, this that type of code. You gotta put undergarments on. Mm-mm. Y'all got the oh no, I'm not gonna call her. Uh y'all got the uh yeah, y'all, it's cold. What the I think that script should say don't don't uh-uh. Don't quote nothing. <laughs> You cannot quote no scripture. That scripture said in 2 um, Corinthians. Oh, uh, 
Don't talk about your sister. Miss Deborah. Oh, we do have tea. But y'all, I miss y'all, but I've been so tired, y'all. I'm sorry. Um And you get stressed. You feel like singing Philip? No, I don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> No, it was emotional. I don't. Mama always in her. She got to come out of telling, depression. I bind depression. Uh -uh. I was telling. <laughs> I was telling. I was telling uh, them about how these funerals can be showing out sometimes in our family. Yeah, that's, they want to fight and stuff. Yeah, they do. They do. They want to fight over chicken and macaroni and cheese and don't put food out and want to take help. it home. Or help. That's just crazy. I mean, people ain't saved. They ain't got it like the Bible. What I tell them know. one day, they crying that hard. We're going to push them over in that wheel. Yeah. That means it must be cold all over the world right now. Um, Miss Sharon, thank you for my pretty teeth. Thank you. You didn't want to fight, but you didn't fall. They pushed your mom in that grave. <laughs> <laughs> I tell y'all these dentures. I, I can't take you them ain't out. Got but, no dentures. but they glued. They glued in. They glued. Um, I had them surgical uh, in. You so. just be lying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Miss Sylvia, what she had? Uh, what she had y'all rolling about? Um, them funerals. How they be wanting to fight and oh. pull people out of caskets, and if they jump up and say boo. Oh, oh, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, it's cold, y'all. Yeah, well, y'all in some states that it normally is cold anyway, like Ohio, uh, Maryland, I uh, white New have York. A and how black people have it. Yeah. They don't have to cry as hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all don't worry about it. I am gonna go live. I do got some stuff for y'all. I, 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 I'm not gonna be a man that lie. I'm not gonna be a man that lie. <laughs> So y'all, um, I'm gonna go live. I'm gonna go. I'm going. I'm going live, y'all. Ain't gonna get nobody. No, yo, Miss Natalie, I know you buying that line, girl. Hardy. <laughs> but but y'all like when you come show out, don't y'all <laughs> fall into it. <laughs> well, y'all come on over um to my world um because we're gonna be talking some good talk over on my end. Mama, she a little say she um she too say <laughs> she too say y'all y'all come on over if y'all wanna hear some good um Well if I get unsaved stuff. then who gonna pray when you be calling for prayer? <laughs> So y'all don't mind, Mama. Uh, uh y'all don't mind her. Um, but um, what your daddy call you out here for? Cause you ain't come for no but other reason. He called me out here for something. Um, so I don't know. But y'all, I'm over here looking like a whole thug. <laughs> but um, put that foil on that potato salad, Mama. I don't eat potato salad. Uh, -uh. But, um, I said put it on it. Fold. Put the foil on. I'm gonna refrigerate it. Oh my God. And Tech gotta but, come get the rest of the But how y'all day been? My day been stressful. What you looking for, AA? But how y'all been? How y'all been? I've been okay. Y'all keep praying for me. I've been stressed out. Oh, um, making something? But God, grace and mercy. Go look in that first one. Go look in the second and third. Me through. That's all I know, y'all. <laughs> Man, mm -hmm. because of you, you, I want to thank you and praise you too. And praise you too. Your grace and mercy. Your grace and mercy brought me through. Brought me through. Do it again. Your grace and mercy. Um, your grace and mercy. Brought me through. I'm living this moment because of you. I'm living this moment because of you. I want to praise you and thank you too. I want to praise you and praise you too. Your grace and mercy. Your grace and mercy. Brought me through. Uh, your grace and mercy brought me through. Oh. Glory to 
His name gonna do the one. That was a good uh your grace and your mercy. That was a good one. Now that's on third. Another one. Oh Lord. Ain't y'all, nothing y'all scared see. You. <laughs> <laughs> that's third me, y'all. Your grace and mercy. Oh, brought me through. Let me tell him. I'm finna let him entertain y'all because I'm finna go cover up my potato salad and put it in the refrigerator. Y'all want to deal with him. Y'all ask for him. Here he is. Y'all like stuff like this, don't you? Okay, I'm going to do something real quick. Uh, he Here, Elizabeth uh, Calloway, y'all can have him. Oh, Melissa uh, Robinson Jackson said she was singing with you, son. Uh-huh. Yeah, your grace and your mercy. Your grace and mercy. Oh, you're going high. Mm, you're trying to do a high How you do that? Do that in hand. <laughs> <laughs> get that again. Get that again. Uh-uh. Mama be grace. playing, y'all, but uh-uh. Son got vocals, y'all. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> but y'all, I'm here. I'm here. I got strength right now, but y'all, I took some of my medicine last mm-hmm. night. I couldn't even open up my eyes. Mommy, I couldn't even. Um, Daddy's upset and I can't go. Yeah, I couldn't. Y'all, I got to go help Daddy because I'm not going to be over here long. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to be over here long. And he got, he done called you, so you know how he gets. Yeah, I'm not going to be over here. Is it Doretha? I like that. That's a different name. I like that name. I like that. It kind of remind me of Doritos. I ain't talking about you. Uh, is it Dorothea? Oh, I think it's Dorothy. Okay, my bad. I love you anyway. Um, I love y'all. Um, y'all, Miss Tammy, sing "Amazing Grace." She's up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I sing Amazing Grace, but y'all go follow me at Marvin Music, M-U-S-I-Q. Thank y'all. Um, and y'all will hear a lot more singing. Um, but y'all got me singing on Mama's page. I don't even sing on my own. No, you had me. <laughs> I mean, where they do that at? I don't even sing. Uh, no. Anyway, people go clean folk house and don't clean their own. Okay, do, do re Okay, it's like that. Okay, yeah. It is Doritos. You had to break it up. Yeah, she broke it up for me. Like Doritos. Right. No, mama, don't do that. I'm saying, she. you said it, Dorita. It's re, Dorita. Dorita. Okay, yeah. see, I didn't know. Because some people say Dorothea, so I didn't know. I thought you was being funny. You said it put you in a mind of Doritos. Uh, mama, oh my God. That's what you said. No. What people, you doing? Because people can't spell. Hold on, y'all. I'm pinning. Oh, I can't pin it. That is. Okay, y'all. I pinned the uh, Marvy music. Y'all go follow. Thank y'all. I pinned it because y'all, y'all, I can't. Um. Okay, I sing Amazing Grace, and then we probably going to go because I got to help Daddy. Y'all see this gray hair on me? I know y'all see this gray hair. Y'all see this gray hair? Avery, tell Daddy I'm coming. People need to hear uh, Saving Grace. Um, um, okay, here we go. Uh, amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. That said a wrench like me. I was, was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Praise God, 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 praise God. 
Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. I got a peach, um, a Georgia peach. Thank y'all, love y'all. Um, I'll be going live on mine soon, very soon. Go we, we are, we're going to see the king. Love right. y'all. Go on. Your daddy going to get you. I got a peach, um, a Georgia peach uh, tea in there. Mama, I know that you. Okay, then. All right, y'all. I've already done the potato salad, Audrey Smoothers. You're going to have to go back and watch this later, and you'll see exactly how I did it. I'm getting ready to show you it again um, before I get off of the live. Oh, I love Amazing Grace. Who knocked it? A mirror, uh, Castle Berry, they bet not knock it. You better not touch a him. That's a very dangerous thing to play with. I love them. I love all hymns. My children were raised on hymns. And hymns is not a Methodist thing. Hymns is not a Pentecostal thing. Hymns are wrote from experiences, from what people went through. That's why nobody owned them. And the majority of the hymns were wrote by slaves. Mm-hmm. So no, 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 no. We love hymns. Um, service is going to be again at 11.15. Uh, Jenny Smart, don't block my son, Janice. Hymns are good, and that is good. I had to take son off of that uh, green tea and stuff. He was drinking it nonstop, y'all. I was going to Sam's and buying it by the case, and he was just drinking it. Hymns are amazing. I don't think nobody on here was knocking it. I can't say that, but you have no reason to. If you ever grew up in church, the age bracket that I see that support me, if you ever grew up in church, you already know that hymns are our foundation. That is our foundation. Alethea uh, Bradley uh, Prize, son, play too much. Thank you for your donation, uh, Lethia Bradley. Um, son is who he is. He will tear our church up, honey. You know it. Y'all want to go back to church with me this Sunday? Uh, for Sunday, I'm going to put it in the um, refrigerator. I done told you. I don't want you to come vexing my spirit. Don't come in here with that mess, son. You don't miss Easter Sunday. You never have. Now, I, you greedy. You just want to work some overtime. Now, don't come in here and start with me. I won't answer the phone the next few days, and we'll see who wins. <laughs> right. He do that. Right. Every Easter, I'm working. But then if I say, okay, go on and work. Oh, really? You don't care that I'm going to miss Easter Sunday? Marsha is a great singer. He's got a CD getting ready to come out. Oh, I like that song too. I love the Lord. I like that song. He heard my cry. Honey, I listen to Marsha sing. He sings good. He um is getting ready to uh he's getting ready to come out with his CD. Oh, uh, Alethea uh Bradley. Don't don't mm mm. He'll be there. Don't don't feed into it. Don't don't feed into it. You once you get to know my son, you understand he like to cut up and he like to aggravate me. So what aggravates him is when mommy don't answer the phone. Uh, he was mad at me for two weeks. Everybody on here know what happened. 
Uh, I was having pain and I didn't answer the phone. He said I was mad because he didn't go get some strawberries for me. He blew it all up. He had everybody in the family uh, calling and he was calling and talking about me to everybody in the family, but he wouldn't call me. And finally he showed up at the grocery store where I was at. You have to just know son. Son just like to cut up. He don't he don't mean no harm. You got three boys, uh you know what I'm talking about then, Sister Bar uh, Bradley. Son is most definitely unbothered. <laughs> I mean, he is, my kids are grown. I've raised them and everything, and I have a sense of humor. Um, there are times I have to calm him down, because you just have to. You just have to. His name is Son to me, but his name is Marvin Phillip, okay? We use Phillip. Uh, he decided to do his music page as Marvin Music, and um, but I call him Son. I call him son. I call Kelby Nanny and Avery Bird. I got a nickname for all of them. So he's son. My daughter, the oldest one name is Nanny. And Avery's name is Bird. I call her Bird and sometimes I call her Cinnamon. Mm, I got Bird because when she was a baby, everything was growing. Her hair would grow, but she didn't like it combing. And you know how the hair go uh, 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 fall out around the middle and stuff it just was laying slick down but it was like a rooster like a bird in the middle so I call a bird you right Aletha he wants attention so all my kids got a nickname uh, uh, Marvin Phillip but nobody calls him that and anyway everybody calls him Phillip but I call him son my daughter Kelby I call her Nanny and Avery I call her bird So sometimes y'all might hear me say bird. That's that's Avery. She'll say, huh? Just a nickname. But I made sure they knew who their names were for. I didn't let them go to school saying, my name bird. My name ain't Avery. Uh-uh, no, it's Avery. He does. He does. He loves, he loves the attention. What is my nickname, Tracy? <laughs> Tracy. The story behind uh, Nanny is when she was little, my mom and my daddy called her Nanny, Nanny Poutine. Mama's little pretty thing. And it stuck. And then my brother Dennis came along talking about Nanny, Nanny Poutine. Mama's little pretty thing, Nanny, 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 Poutine. If you know that brother, he makes up songs with everybody's name. Yeah, everybody's name. And so, Nanny stuck. And so, in our family, she's Nanny. Everybody didn't know her personally in the family, sibling wise. They say, hey, Nanny. And, you know, that's just how it go. Um, uh, Everybody know bird. Everybody know sun. So they just, they just, her name is Nanny, N-I-N-N-Y. And that's just what they call her. Some up call her Nanny Poo Thang, Tang, and some up call her Nanny. But if, if it's my brothers and sisters and cousins and nieces, they just say, hey, Nanny, where your mama at? That's all. Son is because he he my only son. He's son. And if you and if and if you only knew, sometimes all you can do is say, "Son, why did you do that? Son, get in here. Son, you about to drive me crazy. Son."
Oh no, I didn't do that, uh, Mitchell. Uh, I, 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 Mitchell Peace Joy. No, she she wasn't gonna find out her name in first grade. No, it, it's just terms of endearment. And uh, I used to sing Avery. I her song was ba 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 bird bird. Bird's the word, but 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 bird 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 is the word word word, but but bird bird, and she used to love that. Well, when she was little, she just jump around. Bird 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 is the word, and she just get tickled. And um, I still call her bird. I call her cinnamon sometimes. Uh, that's just what it comes out. It just, it, that's just that's just how we do things. And son is. It's different. And everybody say, honey, uh, son, your mom over there. That's when he know. The, he know or he'll say, they'll say, I seen your son today. Okay. Honey, son was showing out today. I told him I'm going to tell your mama. mama son was finally, at the game. I finally got tape from daddy. You did? Mm -hmm, and I made this for my teacher with a heart in the side. Oh. And I put this heart on there. Okay. And this has my name in there. What's your nickname? What I call you? Bird. Bird. And it so almost sounds like a bird. I need. Mommy, can I see that? Well, I ain't gonna keep y'all on here. Can I see that over there? See what? There's something here that I'm gonna steal my. Pick yourself up. Uh, son is doing yard work so this is what's happening right we got a lot of pollen uh his dad has decided to dig up all the old mulch and stuff that's in the front yard and he's doing some stuff um we had a french drain put in and um he's got him over here helping him dig the trench uh i love a pretty yard and my husband does too and um he's getting it ready and he's going to be planting some stuff. Some stuff is seasonal. Some stuff is going to be bulbs that's going to return next year. So, that's what they're outside doing. Son can do labor like his daddy. He can work in that yard and turn it around. And when his daddy call him to get over here and aid him, he gets over here. And we have to just talk to him because son has like, um, he just, he just don't know when to stop and he'll work himself into the ground. And we just have to sit down and talk to him and say, you can't deal with stress like that. Oh, I don't know what the troll is, but remember, um, uh, Robin Strangler, I don't know if you've been on here lately, but when we have trolls trying to be mean and rude, we just write unbothered and they'll go on about their business. So no matter who he is, we're not going to even mention their name. We no longer going to call trolls names out. We're not going to give them the one minute or three minutes of fame. Um, we just will just write unbothered. If you see it, go on to that comment. Don't say nothing. Just write unbothered. We're not going to read it. Yeah, just right unbothered. Thank you for the stars. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, peace, uh, joy. I bought a bunch of stars the other day. I watch people on here and I give them stars. Um, after I found out what they were, that they are money. And like you just gave me 50 cents. They're pennies. But they add up. Um, don't cry. You cannot go outside. It's too cold. Your allergies. Don't cry. Um, and so that's how um, I do. Yeah, we write unbothered. We're not bothered. Uh, we don't give them no benefit of the doubt. We've got to grow and we've got to keep moving. We're going to keep cooking. Tomorrow we'll be cooking again. The Lord let us live to see another day. Um, thank you for the stars. Um and um, we just are going to be better than what they are. And maybe they can learn from us. 
you're not going to make everybody happy in the world, even if you try. Um, you know, I, 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 I listen to a lot of people and how they come on their pages and be rude and disrespectful and stuff. And a lot of people I watch, I never comment on nobody's stuff. Um, I watch stuff and I don't, I don't have a comment to say, even if it's something good, I don't say nothing. I just be watching, uh, and I'm not under mama's comfort cooking or nothing. I'm under, um, my name, my personal name, Tracy, um, uh, is it what is what pops up? Um, uh, cause I watch from my personal page. Thank you for the stars. Um, I don't, uh, I don't find it necessary to, if I don't like something, all I got to do is go on by it. If I do like something, I just send some hearts and, uh, um, and thumbs up. I don't have to, um, be mean to nobody, but that comes with growth. And especially on my page, because my page is geared to people 35 years up, older and up. So if you're that immature, then there's no telling what and how people view you on your job, how they view you, how you've raised your kids, how your family view you, because you petty and you messy. And we don't give them no, no room right here. You're not going outside, Janae. You can play your um Pac-Man game if you want to. What's that? The, um, I'm not opening up nothing new. If you talk no, about that, that's East, that's not that's not new. What? This stuff all the back here that I'm not talking about. This is not new. What? This is what I've been had. That daddy bought. I'm not finna do no um. That's uh, that. Were, I have to have shaved ice. That's a slushy maker. Put it back. And you got plenty of stuff to you have. To put you even ice got a Pac Man galaxy and all you, that. You have to put ice in there. What are you saying? I can't play that. Yolanda Miller Johnson. I can go um, If you send I can me stars, again, which is right there. Um, I can see stars oh, up here at the top. Um, but like, Facebook controls that. I don't control it. They just tell me how many or how many to get or something like I need. Uh, I have uh, 800. I mean, 8,000. I need 10,000 stars. I'm at 8,996. That's what I need. But if I don't get it, I don't get it. Okay. Um, that's our secret, you know, because they look at statistics and stats and numbers and this and that and i want to enjoy my um people and cooking so but just remember when they come on here like that right i'm bothered because i'm gonna tell you something i'm so unbothered with them as good as y'all were yesterday how y'all aided me Encourage me to get in there and cook, get the flowers ordered, get all that stuff done. I don't have time. Uh, I love you. Yes, I do. I love you. I'm the cook and you're my friends. I love you. Yes, I do. I love you. Good God Almighty this evening. And I thank you for supporting me. Oh, I thank you for loving me because I love you. Yes, I do. I love you. I'm the cook and you're my friends. Yes, I'm Shirley McKinney. Stars help me in the end. Um, Whenever it is, I don't know if it's the month of May. I don't know when it's going to be. But what happens is that... um. The stars, which are pennies, they turn into money. So as they accumulate, once a month, when they reach, you have to have over 100 stars. Like my goal is 100,000 stars. So I need 10,000 stars like that. Hopefully a day. So... It adds up so that at the end of the month, I think I get 
55% of them that they give to me. I don't know. I have yet to receive the reward of them yet because you have to accumulate. So that means you got to work a whole month like in the hole of getting them for them to accumulate to get where you need to be for them to give it to you. And so that's just how it, that's just Facebook. It's I can't give nothing to myself. My supporter badge is $4.99 a month. That's what Facebook gave me. If you all want to join, it's $4.99 a month. You can cancel at any time. When you set it up, you're setting it up and Facebook handle it, not me. And it don't come in my bank account again. It has to accumulate. And then at the end of that month or whenever, that's when Facebook would give me my percentage. That's how it works. That's all I know. I don't think I get all of them. I don't think so. But Miss um, O'Neill, I'm not for sure. I'm just getting started. So I don't know. So that's how it is. <laughs> like I'm at 9,344. I want to get to 10,000. That's all I can. T I can't tell y'all. Y'all can probably tell me better than I'm telling y'all. Am I right or am I wrong? No, Maxie, Ivy, I don't either. Yeah, and some people that don't want to buy stars and that don't, they, they, they do bless me in Cash App. And some people also mail me uh, checks and stuff to be a blessing. And for those that just simply cannot, I ain't going to stop loving you. I, I appreciate it. Some can do more than others. It's just like in church. Some can do more than others can do. Uh, some people are up in age and they can't do like they used to. Some people can give. Some people can give retired better than, than we can working. You got some people got great pensions and great 401ks. And they, that's their business, business between God. Some can give more than others. Yes, um, Magley Francis, that's so true. Uh, cash up, I get it quicker because it's mine right then and there. Versus face, Facebook, I have to wait. And the thing about Facebook, yeah, I have PayPal on my website. Um, go to www.mamascomfortcooking.com. And I have a PayPal there. Um, thing about Facebook, you don't know when they're going to pay you or nothing. You don't know. It's okay, uh, Deborah. We on this page, we don't judge people. We don't even want you to talk and say what you can and can't do. If you can't do it, you can't do it. Don't you stand out because we, we don't have a respect to person. Kawana Michelle, I appreciate it. If you send cat anybody that gives me, I appreciate it. But don't feel, don't, don't bother. Uh uh. Well, that's what they are, a penny a piece, Amy. I bought some the other day. So they are a penny a piece. Um, because I spent $24 on stars and I got 2000 and something stars. So they are a penny. Um, I had to find it out because I wanted to buy some to see how it worked. And then I started giving them to other people because I didn't know. I really didn't know. And y'all were asking me questions about something. See, Facebook gave that to me when they were ready for me to have it. It's not something I knew about. I, I just really didn't know. And, um, I didn't want people to keep thinking I was being ignorant or, or, or she knows and she, I didn't know. I'm having to learn it. And so that's all I know. I don't know nothing else. Uh, everything is Mama's Comfort Cooking. M-A-M-A-S Comfort. C-O-M-F-O-R-T Cooking. The dollar sign is in front. My birthday is this month, y'all. The last day of April. April 30th. I'm Taurus the Bull. 
April the 30th is my birthday. I got a birthday coming up, number 53. Yep. But y'all been sweet and y'all been patient with me. And I know y'all got to go watch a lot of other people. I know y'all watch a lot of people on, um, I realize like YouTube and Facebook and I don't know how to watch work Instagram. I don't know. My daughter be like, don't even, you just post your videos cause you be done like everybody's stuff you don't know. And she just got me on Twitter. So I don't know how to work it yet. Uh, she says she going to give me a, uh. A lesson on it. Uh, yep, April 30th, uh, Yolanda Spencer. I'm 52. I'll be 53. Gosh, once you break that 50, they get the rolling, don't they? Diamond, a uh, drumming, you are April 30th, too. Look at y'all. Look at us. We got something in common. What? Not me. What you mean, not me? Only you and Mama Joyce and Marsha. Uh, Michelle Robinson Jackson. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe I better skip some. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I know I do get all the money cash out and sending the stars... Uh, yeah, it does. I'm glad for the age that I am. Because I, I wasn't supposed to be here. Well, yes, I was supposed to be here because God left me here. But if the enemy had it his way. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. I understand what you're saying. I do, Michelle Robson Jackson. That's why I say, tell me, because sometimes stuff go ahead and I don't, I don't know. What was that? Okay, you'll be 58. Look at you. Trying to beat me to 60. Oh. You look around and you once was young. Like that song say, I once was young, but now I'm old. So I'm grateful though. And it's a blessing just to be in the land of the living. And let me tell you, when my mama was this age, we thought they were so old. And you look back and learn that kind of thing wasn't right. Because uh, as long as, as you grow old with your significant other and your children around you, you just see you just see it as just another day that the Lord has kept. Yes, he will, Lawrence. He would do it. He really would do it. He's a keeper. That's why I say the age bracket that I have on my page you shouldn't be acting like that, that nonsense, that unnecessary stuff. A lot of the people that are on my page are seasoned people. Yeah, they're not like a lot of teenagers and young people that just say things. But these are people that are seasoned up in age. You have no business carrying on like that. Mm -mm. You don't have no right doing that kind of stuff. We season people. We're supposed to be setting examples. I don't want to deal with that. And y'all, from last Thursday to this Thursday, I've had a tornado. My friend's husband um, get burnt 90% of his body and now Mama Joyce passing. No, I don't have time with that. And even though you are not having the best of day in the line of real estate, you got to smile and even though they can be the most pickiest people and hard to deal with, you got to keep going and dealing with them because you signed up for it and you have to lay aside your emotions. And sometimes when you do that, you are drained, okay? You are spiritually drained. That's just like when I used to do hair and people sit in my chair and I could be having the most amazing day. And next thing you know, you can't make them happy with nothing. Oh, yeah, I know y'all told you to swoop my head to this side. Now I want you to change it. But, ma'am, that means I got to take down this whole front. Well, I don't want it over here. I want it. I, I want, you know, and you just had to 
God was preparing me, I guess even for this, because of being self-employed and dealing with people, I know how to deal with people. You get what I'm saying? Well, my friend's husband yesterday, um, he had to have a lot of major surgery. You know, they have to take all that skin off of him. And he had a little fever and she texted me and said, be praying, pray now, pray now. They don't know where this fever is coming from because what we don't need is for him to have any infection. She's down in Augusta at the burn um, hospital, you know, and um, that's where they airlifted him to. And his company put her up in an apartment. Her boys are there with her along with some family members. She do text me and ask me to pray and I do go into prayer. And I talked to her mom today. I talked to Mama Fran and... um. He, he fighting, y'all. He fighting. To be um, going through what he going through. And the reality is that things will never be the same. Because they had to remove one of his hands. I don't know if he even is aware. But they always say, don't talk too much. Because they may not respond to nothing, but they can hear. So maybe he already knows that that hand is gone. So that's what's going on. Yeah, it's all right. Let me tell you, we was rejoicing over Mama Joyce. You hear that name, Joyce? Rejoicing. That's what we were doing at her house last night. Me and Marshall and them all, we were rejoicing. Yeah, she's the gift that keeps on giving. And uh, I took a picture and put it up here with me standing in her kitchen with Marshall and Lenin. Beautiful people. And Marshall is going to continue to cook and carry it on. And he's fighting. And I love her. And y'all keep calling out Mark's name and my friend Dee Dee. And um, her boys, Jordan and Max. Yes, when prayers go up, lessons come down. Well, I thank you all for putting up with me. I thank y'all for the stars. I thank y'all for loving me. I love y'all back. I thank y'all for being so good to me. I thank y'all for coming through, honey. Again, Mama's Comfort Cooking and Friends came through yesterday. Y'all showed them love. Marsha said, tell y'all thank you from the bottom of his heart. He is a friend of Mama's Comfort Cooking and Friends. He is a friend. I'm the cook and you are my friends. And y'all came through. You know how you tell your children, sit down somewhere before you make me look bad. Well, baby, y'all stood up and made me look good. It was like the family reunion or the friends and family at church. And they say, who all came to church with Sister Sister Mitchell, that's me. Sister Tracy Mitchell. I had 1,600 stand up with me. She want friends and family. Well, who all, come to, who all came to support Sister Tracy and help her cooking for this family? They back again. And y'all did that. Mama Joyce was smiling, honey. She was like, them is some good people over there. I sure do appreciate it. And I took a picture to let y'all know. We did that. Honey, we did that. And my TV tore up last night. Don't God work in mysterious ways. The picture tube could quit working. I needed some sleep anyway. I was sore and tired. Honey, when I got through getting my uh, night clothes on, and, and I didn't do nothing but get in the bed, talk to a friend a little bit, and I went to sleep. I took my medicine, and I went to sleep. I didn't need the TV anyway, did I? I don't know about tonight, but I can always read my word. I can always find Mommy. the good in everything. Mommy. I can just look on my phone. Mommy. I'm not having anything else to do.
I know what you want to do. I know what you want to do. You just want to go outside, so not nothing is going to make you happy. But your allergies, you know how bad that green stuff is all over everything? That's pollen, and you would be sick with a headache. You already have to take Claritin every day. So, no, ma'am. So, don't start saying you got a kitchen over there. You got a. Why are you bored outside. when you got everything to play? That's right, because you want to go where? Outside. And what did I say? I am bored. Every single time I want to take it. You're not, you got everything to do. You got a playhouse over there. You got a kitchen over there. You got a Pac-Man game over there. You got all the stuff in your bedroom. You got LOL dolls. You got uh this doll. You got that. You got cash registers. You got everything. You're not going out in that pollen. You got enough stuff for three kids in this house. Now, you want me to give everything away? No, stop it. Oh, honey, Avery ain't going to sing. Uh, you stop can it. it. You know your Easter speech? Stop it. Hey, you better let that word go away from your vocabulary. You hear me? Mm. You hear me? Yes. Guess what? Yes. Uh, some people do send money, Yolanda Miller Johnson, to my P.O. Box, um, P.O. Box 32, um, Castle, Georgia, 30123. And you can always inbox me and I tell it. Uh, Leanne Tinsley, I ain't going to punish you. It's just that she wants to go outside. She got everything, I promise you. But what it is is that the pollen is so bad. I have allergies and she does and we take medicine year round. She has a pill she takes uh, 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 from uh, from her doctor. And if I let her go in it, I'm going to have to deal with it tonight. Her head will hurt. She'll get stuffy. It's The pollen count is ridiculous here in Georgia. And we needed the rain yesterday, but you wouldn't think it rained at all. You wouldn't think my husband pressure washed the deck or anything. Because the trees are blowing like crazy. It's cold. And along with that, she will be sick before morning. That's right, Patricia Knight. It don't matter what she has. She want to go outside. But the outcome is that I'll have to put up with a sick child. And I mean, it's bad. I mean, like, I couldn't touch the handle of my door uh, without getting it on my hand. And it's just really bad. I don't know if it's got to do with this virus stuff that was released. It seemed like it's worse. It's really bad. Son, take allergy medicine every day, too. And then on top of that, you be dealing with it's so cold. It's extremely cold. She'll end up with that and the cold weather. And then she'll be sick for morning. She's never missed a day of school. I always make my kids get perfect attendance. She hasn't missed a day of school. I'm going to check her out early tomorrow because I'm going to take her to get her hair washed and stuff for Easter. Um... But if I don't, she'll be sick. They don't make them wear masks at school. And even the mask is not going to take the pollen away. It's on everything. Now, when she gets outside, it's in the grass. So it's going to, it's traveling. A mask does not help. I wear a mask every time I go out the house, but it's just not going to help. And then I take a lot of herbs and vitamins. I take black seed oil. I take um, hemp. I take um, turmeric. I take these other ones. I take goalies every day. Um, I take Allegra 180. Um, I have a lot of, of stuff that I try to take. But, it, it, but there's no need of letting her get sick uh, on me for no reason. The mask still doesn't help the pollen. It'll catch some of it, but if you don't have a breathable mask with this stuff in there and they tell you two masks is better than one, trust me, it's not going to help. We had to deal with it last year. It, it The mask, is it, it, it will buffer just a little bit, 
but it's not a filtered mask. And if the masks are not really filtered, and they're saying now, wear two masks. Take one mask and stuff on the inside and wear one over that one. So you really got three. It doesn't matter, Stephanie, just mute. Do you live in Georgia? If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's plum yellow and green out there. When the wind blows, you can see the pollen coming out of the trees. It gets in your eyes, it gets on your clothes, it gets on your shoes, it gets in your hands. That's why you can take your shoes off at the door or you'll track it through your whole house. Hey, Deborah, hey, Brenda Debris, Degree, I'm sorry. I mean, it's just the wind is just blowing like crazy out there and you can see the pollen. Look like a swarm of bees coming out the tree. Now, some people don't have it as bad as other places, but it's bad. If you live in Georgia, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's pretty bad. Oh, man, it's all over my car. And that mask is not going to help. It's just not. Yeah, y'all in Texas and stuff, y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh, we don't talk about that COVID stuff over here either. Because nobody's going to agree on it. Um... I make tea and everything, but I'm just, as a parent, I know better than to let her go out. I know that she will get sick. I know Avery's allergies. That's why she take an allergy pill year round. She don't just take it when allergy season. Avery is allergic to oak, birch. And um, if I sit there and let Avery go out in this element right now, as a parent, I'm 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 sending my child out to get sick. And it's very bad in Georgia. Yeah, it's like, I don't want to talk about politics. I don't want to talk about the COVID shot. Um, we just not going to agree on that. And so I don't want to offend nobody. You just got to know what you need to talk about. Uh, that's personal. If you get the shot, that's personal. If you don't want to get the shot, that's personal. It doesn't apply to me. Okay. Because that's really personal. That's a decision you've come to a crossroads to do. Some people are taking it now. Some people might take it later. Um, I don't want to talk about politics, um, sex, religion, and, and politics. It, people don't agree on it. You might be a uh, liberal. Somebody might be a Democrat. Somebody might be a Republican. Um, somebody might say, I don't believe in vote at all. So I just don't want to bring those topics up if I don't have to. It's just, it's just personal. I respect people's space. I don't, I don't want to get in no debate. Then somebody will say, well, you telling somebody to get it. Or then somebody may say, you telling somebody not to get it. So it's just easier to just say it's personal. Now I talk about the allergy shots. Yeah. And stuff like that. And I even have to take this cough medicine that has codeine in it, which would knock me flat on my face. But it's just when it gets really bad, I have to take Brocacil, which is an antibiotic, along with my Allegra and the cough syrup. So it's just not worth it. She's eight. Avery is eight. She's not. It's just not worth it. Growing up, my baby always had runny eyes and stuff. And so um, they had to run tests on her. They did allergy tests on Avery just to find out she had strong allergies. And so I just can't. Uh, some people can say they got allergies, but they keep going. 
but she can get a little headache and she say, mommy, my head hurts. And then she gets stopped up. Um, and so um, I just don't take her through all that. I do get her pills every, um, she get a refill of pills um, every month. Yeah, it's it's personal. I don't want to offend nobody on here. I talk about my God because that's my God, my Lord and Savior. I'm not pushing what I believe, but that's what I believe. But when it comes to the other things, um, I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna talk about same sex marriage. I'm not gonna talk about that. I got my belief on that. Uh, I'm going to stick to the Bible, um, but I'm on love. I don't hate nobody for what they, what they, what they have to give account on. So I don't talk on that. Um, I don't want to talk on politics. Look, if you think Trump was the best president, that's personal. If I think Obama, that's personal. If I think Reagan, that's personal. If I think Clinton, that's personal. If I think Bernie Sanders, Sanders, that's personal. So I don't want to get in into that. And I don't want to, I don't, and I don't want to get into the COVID shot. Should you take it? Should you not take it? Only thing I can tell you is pray about it. And if you got peace about it, that's personal. That's all I can say. You know what? We say three things on here. That's personal. Okay. That don't apply to me. The Bible is right. Somebody's wrong. Yeah, I can't name all the presidents. If you think Roosevelt was the best, if you think Lincoln, I can't go through all of them. I'm just using illustrations. I use, I was just using one Democrat, one Republican, one Democrat, one Republican, and one liberal. I was just doing it that way. That's why I said, then you'll start naming all the presidents of the United States. Honey, I, I couldn't tell you. I wasn't even here when Roosevelt was here. I don't know. Lincoln and none of the rest of them, George Washington and all of them, I don't know. I wasn't even here. I'm just using it as a, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's when you start offending people and you start losing people because your views and, and um. yeah, we can talk about Humpty Dumpty. Uh, he sat on the wall and had a great fall, fall and so like Humpty, I did too. And, uh, all the King's horses and King's men couldn't put me back together, but guess what? They put me on a potter's wheel <laughs> and a man named Jesus. He put me back together again. Ye who are broken, stop by the potter's house. Cause the potter wants to put you back together again. He matched every crack and piece. Yeah. He put the martyr and the clay on me. He rubbed a little water on me. Uh-huh, the Holy Spirit. And he put me back together again. Don't get me going because the potter wants to put you back together again. You who are broken, stop by the potter's house. Child, I know a good potter. You hear me? I love to do pottery. I love pottery. It relaxes me. I know how to do it. Put my whatever I create in the kilts and let it and let it get blasted, you know, the kilts blaster, and hey, that's it. I talk about that now. Remember, that's personal too. Yeah. Your your salvation is personal, but it's never private. <laughs> Sorry. It's personal, but that ain't private. So I did speak a word earlier, and, and, and the word is um, that I spoke earlier was pertaining to um I don't forget <laughs> but we was talking about all the things that come up in a matter of time and dealing with life and and being unbothered and understanding that this too shall pass and just like every breaking moment God gets you through and when you think it's bad it's somebody worse off than you and realizing that we have a blessed hope and and that all things work together. We don't see it. It might not even be your story for you to see how it works together. But God will reveal it in the end. Hallelujah. Amen. 
and that we were in the Garden of Gethsemane learning to be still because now the stuff is going to get started. Y'all hear me? Uh, the Roman soldiers' ears is about to be cut off. They about to capture Jesus Christ. Yeah, Peter's about to get lit. Even though he going to deny him before the cock crows three times, the Lord then already told him, look, I'm about to go. I ain't going to be with you always. I'm about to die. I got to be about my father's business. Uh, I done asked him to let the cup pass. But nevertheless, I understood when I come that I was about my father's business. So it's not my will, but his will be done. My message is stay in his will because in the will of God, he won't deny it. And we are safe in his will. Whether we like the will or not, he is the will in the middle of a will. And the will that he has toward our lives is not always what we want, but it always ends up being what we need. And so they're getting ready to take him today. I just want y'all to know, um, before the break of day, just before the break of day, they're going to take our Savior in. Yeah, Peter going to get mad and cut the Roman soldiers ear off like, like that. He going to get rebuked one last time. He already know he going to deny him before the cock crows. Because God, are, Jesus already knew they were scary. Yeah, he already knew they were scared. They wanted him. And Peter always was in something. He had to get Peter quite often. He wanted to walk on the water. And then he looked at his situation and about drowned because he took his eyes off of Jesus. He was the one that he had to say, Peter, come here, let me give you a vision. And it's a twofold vision. Peter, you got to do better. When you with the Jews, you act like the Jews. When you with the Gentiles, you act like the Gentiles. Uh, Peter, this is a twofold vision. And he set him on the rooftop and he showed him. He said, now first with the swine, what I call clean, don't you call unclean. Secondly, he said with the Gentiles, because that's how Peter was. They thought the Gentiles were unclean people, uncircumcised. Peter liked them. He hung over there. The Gentiles ate swine. Peter, when you over here with these Gentiles, uh, what I call clean, don't you call unclean. You quit calling these people unclean. Because when you over here with them, you act like them. You eat the same thing they eat, Peter. And when you get over there with the Jews, you act like them. Don't we see that today in church? When people with you, they act one way. When we get with other group of people, they act another way. Oh, yeah, we do. We see it. We see it all the time. We even act like we don't know people when we're with a certain group of people. Yes, we do. Oh, yeah, I go to church with her. <laughs> yeah, but you don't be acting like that sometimes at church when they're not around. But you get with your selected group of friends. It kills me how people can act arrogant and sophisticated like they got it all. They can carry themselves like that, but if you go look in their bank account, they ain't got the numbers to back behind their attitudes, their dignified selves, and how they want to be. And then you wonder why things start to happen. Sometimes they're just so mean and unreal and everything, you can't nobody get to them. They don't like themselves or nobody else. And the next thing is that we got to realize, so now he's getting rebuked again. He didn't want to hear that he was going to deny him because he loved him so much. And we do love God so much, and we do fail God, but we love him. And so just before the break of day, things are getting ready to take place because as you know, they have an opportunity during Holy Week to release a prisoner. Mm -hmm. They had an opportunity to release one, but it wasn't Jesus. Who knows who it was? It was Barnabas. Yeah, and he had already done what they said he did. <laughs> he was getting ready to be hung for a reason. But they hated Jesus so much, they let him free, and they hung Jesus. Now, it was called Holy Week before this took place, but what they failed to understand, they were calling it Holy Week. When they did what they did to Jesus, it became Holy Week. Honey, it became Holy Week. So, I just want y'all to know Barabbas. I always say Barnabas, but Barabbas is his name. Barabbas, you know. It take a minute sometime for me. I say something wrong. I say I say Barnabas or, uh, but it was Barabbas. Sometimes it's just reading the Bible names. You, you, you say stuff wrong sometimes. I'm not a theologian teacher, theological or uh, seminary teacher. I I just uh, but sometimes when I look at stuff, it's Barabbas. You know Barabbas. And so now we're getting ready to enter in. Oh, we don't have to hang our head down no more because we know that they're getting ready to crucify him. We can look at the picture 
Because in the end, we know we win. We can look at it now and say, huh, y'all thought it. Ain't it something like I said yesterday? If you go and realize that the Roman soldiers lifted him up, he said if I be lifted up. They messed it up, messed up when they lifted him up. Okay, but also in Romans uh, 10, 9 and 10, it tells you if you confess the Lord Jesus and believe in your mouth that God raised him from the dead, you should be saved. Yeah, um, your salvation is personal, but it'll never be private because as long as he lives, we can face tomorrow. Yeah, I know what they mean, um, Belinda, but sometimes I do miss a, uh, I, I, sometimes I do mess up a name. I can jack up a, your name right now, let alone in the Bible. Uh, uh, I really can. Blind Bartimaeus and everybody gets, they all get messed up. I know what I'm talking about. I just jack them names up. Uh uh, Terrell. Whatever net, whatever that girl said, just say um. Uh, just say uh, we not not bothered. And this Terrell guy, whoever he is, whoever this person is that keep posting, uh, y'all know that ain't me. They gonna go under until I um. I get my ad man to remove them. So it'll be taken care of. I ain't asked nobody for no $3,000. And ain't nobody going to pay you $3,000. Don't you dare get nobody your cash app. And think they going to cash app you. No $3,000. Mm -mm. Don't worry. Y'all she not going to get nothing. Let me tell y'all what somebody did. They sent me a cash app request. To cash out them money for their baby diapers. And the and the name was somebody something. And I thought, if you got that many kids that need diapers, uh, where's that stimulus money? Because if you got three, four kids, you got 1400 a kid. What you do with all that money within two weeks? Huh? I wish y'all would pay for somebody some diapers. And wipes. And they done got all that stimulus money. They done got $1,400 a person in a house. So you got four kids, five kids, and you? Mm-mm. You just got the money. Now, what you mean, Terrell? Terrell, are you on here being bad? <laughs> Child, bye. Ain't nobody gonna give y'all no money. Y'all don't fall for that. Don't give these scammers your personal information. Do not get unbothered. Remember, I'm not giving away no money. I don't send out friends request. If y'all getting a friend's request for mama's comfort cooking, you better go unfriend them. That's not me. This is a business page. We don't send out friend requests. Do not let these people get on here and try to trick you. I don't do that. Y'all got $1,400 a piece. You can buy your daughter or your son some diapers and wipes. No, 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 no. Terrell, get off my page with respect. Get off my page with respect, Terrell. Pick me. You have no right. First of all, you wrong. Because you should have... Ask me, could you do this? If you wasn't a scammer, you would have inboxed me and said, Miss Tracy, I'm doing this. Can I do this on your page? So then since you didn't do that, I do feel like you're trying to get over on my people. I'm the cook. These my friends. And you're not going to get over on my friends. Unbother yourself. Unbother yourself. Natalie Lee Taylor, don't you pay him no attention. Get unbothered. You right, uh, Celine uh, 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 Thomas. That's $5,600 and you just asked me. I clicked on the picture. Here she is with her children and I'm counting them heads. You got $5,600 and you asked me for the cash app me to send you money for some wipes and diapers. 
Go, not girl, but we say go by. Yeah, we got a lot of nice cabins in Georgia. Bye, Terrell, baby. Block party will be happening later. Well, y'all, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to take Avery's hair down. And I'm going to um, work on this cake. So my um, layers will be cold enough for me to ice in them. Yeah, they they cashed and when um they they I had a cash out request. I don't even know who the person is, and it said for diapers and wipes for my baby, and I said, well, my goodness, that uh we just got that um stem money. Ain't no way in the world you got that many kids and you ain't got no money for no diapers and no wipes. If you done blew all that money, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You didn't put some back for your baby. Because I know that money hadn't been out but a good two or three weeks. That's it. So if you went through that kind of money that fast, then you you need to go buy some, uh, some of those pa diaper pampers that you got to wash in your washing machine and get one of the big old pins and pin it on the side. You need to be washing diapers if you did that. Yeah? No, not yet. Hold on. Can I have mm -hmm. just one pickle? No, just wait till I get through. Ava, I'm finna come off. Give me my shoe right there so I can get ready to go. Where are you go going? Nowhere. I'm coming to the end there. Oh. What is he throwing up against the house? I don't know. But that's what it is. So, y'all, I've enjoyed y'all today, and I hope y'all enjoyed me. And I'm so glad we've had this time together just to have a laugh, a sing a song, as Carol Burnett say. Seeing we just got started, and before you know it comes a time we have to say so long. So, if all minds clear, head usher's on here. Get in place, head usher. Do we have any announcements? Yes, the announcements are as follows. Thank each and every one of you. Mama want to thank her friends for aiding her, supporting her, lifting her up, encouraging her, and going with her to support um, Mama Joyce's family, Marshall and the, and the Woods family. She also would like to tell you all she loves you and appreciate you in a special way. Continue to pray for the sick and shut in everywhere as well as each other and be good to each other and love like it's your last day. And because everything is predicated on love. Um, also, she wants to tell you that if the Lord's willing and the creek don't rise, she'll meet you here tomorrow where you will live to cook again. Um, that is all the announcements that she have. Uh, again, um, Mama Joyce's funeral is um, this Saturday. She will be attending it on behalf of Mama's Comfort Cooking and Friends. So each and every one of you in spirit will be there with me in spirit hopefully i have a um a program and i'll be able to come back and tell y'all how amazing um it was how beautiful she looked and everything like that um so i do know it's a public funeral um i do know that much and i do know that um i won't be trying to take a picture or video nothing, okay? I believe in giving people their respect. So that's all I can say, but it is this Saturday. All right, and if you do want to send Marshall a card, love token or anything, and you can send it to him um, at um, P.O. Box 531, Casper, Georgia, 30123. If you uh, would like to know more, you can go over to his uh, page, Country Boy Cooking with Marshall, 
and he has everything on his page with how to send stuff to the family. Um, it's just good to be good and it's good to be a blessing. We never know when we sit in that seat. I love y'all so much. Thank you for your patience with me. God is good. We represent it. I don't know who will, who will feed tonight, but uh, Mama's Comfort Cooking and Friends showed out last night. Amen. And Heavenly came on in with us, honey. She was showing out. She come hot out the oven. When I tell you, uh, he said he cut it and it had a crunch on the top. He said, I love that crunch on the top. Child, Heavenly showed out. She always try to take the show anyway. So all minds clear. All minds clear. All right, can we watch out? Don't worry about this earring, y'all. I'm going through. <laughs> one up and one down. One up and one down. All mine's good. It's clear. All right, let's watch out. All right, here we go. We're going to watch out tonight. Ask God, cover and keep each and every one of your houses. Father God, as we lay our heads down, find favor that we rise. Cover and protect us. Keep us from the hands of the enemy. Watch over, Father God, our families. God, touch our bodies wherever we ache and we hurt. Whatever diseases we fight and whatever situations we coming up again. Men broken pieces, Father God. Work on marriages that, God, they, they still believe that there is hope, God. Oh, fix and heal, deliver, set free, God. Give peace, God, to a weary spirit and a weary mind, God. Bless the bereaved families, those that's going through. Continue to touch my friend, Mark, God, as he fights, God, with 90% of his body. God, strengthen him, God. Touch his wife, Dee Dee, and his two sons. Oh, God, strengthen her. Give her peace like no other and strength like no other, Father God. Oh, God, let her be the biggest support system he'll ever have. Because she loved him deeply, God. And she was there before the injury started. And she's living out her vows, God, but strengthen her. Oh, God, because she has to be a wife. She has to be a mother. And she has to be a friend. All at the same time, while she too is so uncertain. But God, she say she praying. That's what she say to me. She say, I'm praying, sis. And we praying with you, Didi. So God, continue to work. Keep the Keep the fever out of his body and, and the infection, God. Oh, God, I know man look on the outside, but you look on the inside. And Didi and Mark are beautiful people and love and give and work in the community. Oh, God, continue to, Lord, let your will be done in this situation. Because if we stay in your will, like mama friends say, just pray for his will. And God, we pray for your will in this situation. That you move and you do what you know that you need to do. And I know whatever you do, if you heal him, God, Didi will say thank you. And if you heal him another way, she'll say thank you because she loves you. And Lord, we thank you in advance for your will. And God, we give you the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord watch between me and thee while we absent one from another in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, y'all, uh, daylight savings is about over. Get out the parking lot. I'm going back in the kitchen. See y'all tomorrow. I am the cook and you're my friends. And I'm going to take care of Terrell tonight, okay? Sorry for the inconvenience. I love y'all. See y'all.